Hey, Hanks and Green, hope you're soft. This is your boy N O R E. What up, it's DJ EFN. And this is motherfucking Dream Chat Podcast. Make some noise! Good to be with what it should be. This is your boy N O R E. And EFN is on vacation. I haven't used that word in over 10 years, vacation. But let's big him up wherever he's at. Before we get into tonight's episodes, I want to big up or wave. Uh, you know, uh, a, 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 a tremendous company out there. Uh, big up my man Steve Rifkin. We wanted a sexy place uh, to do this, and you know they provided it, so big them up. But this is Drink Champs podcast, and right now I have two of the most lyrical giants of the world: the gorilla and the lion of the jungle. These guys go bar for bar. They finally linked up together and made a whole project. It, come, it came out Black Friday. If you didn't go get it and you don't know who we're talking about right now, right now we're talking about Jada Kiss and Mr. F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S. Make some noise! <laughs> now, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm peeping the Instagram. You brothers was on a promo run out here in L.A. Yeah. Yo, you guys must have changed three different times today. No, you, you, we got to just... Bring yeah, our vibe, you know. Yeah, niggas got the stylist with y'all. Nah, we'll be losing the cut somewhere. Mm-hmm. I said these niggas is changing outfits everywhere. Uh, we gotta bring our vibe everywhere we go. Okay. You know what I'm well, well, I want to start it off right and celebrate you, Fab. Here goes your own bottle, even though you got bottles at the crib. Mm-hmm. But we gotta get it, do it right. You okay. popped that. That's all you. You know what I'm saying? Kiss. We got you too. You want you want your bucket too, kiss? Or you want to take this bucket? It's a little sexier. Okay, look, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? We go. I know y'all have been working hard and all that, but I am your peer. We are of the same, and I want to salute and respect you, brothers. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you. I heard you. Um, I heard you had an argument about the um, vibe cover. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, I was talking to. Uh, yeah, this, them this, niggas. This guy. Yeah. Uh huh. I was talking to this guy. And we came to the okay. we came to the conclusion that he that was like he was trying to hold back mm, New York hip hop. That he was covers, a hater. You know what I mean? Go ahead. I and can he say even it for admitted you. He, he even admitted, admitted it. it. Yeah, he admitted it. Mm. Why well, he mm. thought you tried to smash or something when you took out his wife? I don't know what it was. Okay. It was I think it was a little pillow talk vibe mm. that mm. you know. You know, mm. some, that's when a lot of the hating be going mm. on. During mm. the pillow talks, the that's pillow when talk. the most hate goes mm. on. Mm. So, you know. Mm. You're going to be out here pillow talking, Fab. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So let's take it from, from the beginning, Fab, mm-hmm. right? Because uh, you guys, you didn't meet Clue that night that you rhymed? I met Clue. I met Clue that night. I had he, never met Clue before. That shit is crazy. The craziest part about me and Clue is... In that era, you remember it was like mixed taste and you never seen what the DJs look mm-hmm. like. Well, from my standpoint, I had, mm. I, I had this picture of Clue in my head mm. that I thought he looked like. You know what I mean? All the DJs back then was big mm-hmm. and, and had these deep voices. So mm-hmm. I, you know, and then I met Clue and he was like a smaller dude. I was like, mm-hmm. oh shit, you know what I mean? So that mm-hmm. threw me off off the rip. Mm-hmm. Then he came and he was saying, I thought I was just meeting him, like, you know, people had told me, told him I was nice and he wanted mm-hmm. to meet me. And, but he came and was like, yo, we come back from commercial, we gonna rhyme on it, we gonna have a freestyle on the air with, with Nori and, right. and, and, and Fabulous. And I'm mm-hmm. just like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. I just knew it was an opportunity that I couldn't, uh, mm-hmm. I couldn't just not put, Put my all into. I didn't know when I was gonna get this opportunity again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I had no idea I was gonna be there. I always in, in my in my in my head, and when I play around with you, I always say I smoked you that night. Yeah, I, I but, definitely want my rematch. That, no, oh, but I don't, now that definitely. I look back, in hindsight, I, I don't think I smoked <laughs> you per se. Right. I, you I was even hungry. Your joint. I just knew that. <laughs> mm. I felt like I smoked the opportunity. Mm-hmm. And you definitely did. Let's make some noise for that, goddammit. Right. Let's make some noise for that, goddammit. Yes. Yes, you came. You were hungry. Um, it was crazy because I remember Clue pulling me to the side. And he was like, yo, my man, Sport. He didn't even call you Fab. Yeah. He said, I think it was something like that. Yeah, maybe it, was it was Sport. It was Sport? Matter of fact, he didn't even call me Fabulous. It was right. Sport. Because yeah, that was, was like my hood nickname. Right. He was like, yeah. yo, I got my man, Sport. He said, yo, do you mind? And I was like, nah. And like for me to see 
like your career like blossom from that that's moment. That's crazy. Cause you certain did, yeah. certain niggas in that position would have been like, nah, nah, nah. or let my little man run. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Certain nah. would've, not saying that you would have. Right. Nah, I was just trying to even if you was just trying to put your man on. No, you a lot of niggas would have would have said no. Yeah. Right. A lot of niggas would have you know said saying? no. But that's. So that's I why salute I salute you for that, man. Nah, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that it was a question to you, to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I guess, but I, but I meant, I guess the test was more for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I guess, you know, they was, I was quote unquote hot at the time. Nah, you so, were scorching it. Okay, time, thank you, bro. Okay. Thank you, man. Y'all can make some noise yeah. for that, goddammit. <laughs> Y'all can make some noise for that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess he put you in the test to see if you were full. Yeah. And you came and, and, and you came to the occasion, man. And for me to see you, what's that, 15 years later? This that is, was. What year? That was in 98. That was 98? So Damn. that's 19 years now. Damn. Well, Damn. since that first day, since that day, All right. that was 98. D did, you, did you guys, both of you, and then this question goes for both of you guys. Um, other day, uh, well, yesterday, exactly, Kiss landed. I'm in Malibu having lunch. Mm -hmm. I go meet Kiss. That was a boss stunt right there. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just, I'm, I it's, like it's getting to a full like fledged that. stunt. Wait, okay. wait, wait, okay. come. Okay. So I'm looking, and me and Kiss is, is drunk, loud as hell, in Beverly Hills, Ugh. just for no reason. And I'm looking, and I'm looking at our life, and I'm like, did you ever think, like, th that this That's is 19 crazy. years later, like, you're still here, and quote unquote, because people use that word relevant mm -hmm. so fucking roughly, and, and for all three of us, to be quote unquote like what they say is relevant. Did you think? Nah, cause I never and even at that mm. time thought hip hop was a career. Mm. I don't think my like the parents of that time. You know, you told your parents you was trying to be a rapper. They would have been like, you like you crazy. Yeah, yeah like yeah. what? Cause it wasn't yeah. looked at as a mm -hmm. a lengthy career where you could you know mm -hmm. even step out of other things and do other things based off of your hip hop career. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I would have never saw this. Right. Even progressing that long, it was about you. We loved it when mm -hmm. we first did it. It wasn't even mm -hmm. a career option. It was something you right. love to do. Like I like right. the spit. I like, you know, mm -hmm. doing what I do. I love hip hop, mm -hmm. and that's what was what it stemmed from. It wasn't never looked at as like I'm gonna look at this shit like I'm gonna be a night a twenty in this shit twenty years. Nah, you know what I mean? That wasn't on, even can't. a thought, which is crazy. Nah, not at all. You know, mm -hmm. you just you love the passion of it so much. Mm -hmm. You just want to be in the mix and on and have a record deal. All right. You don't even think. You just really thinking about back then how they say you're supposed to think five years ahead and mm -hmm. all that. You thinking like six months. Remember mm -hmm. the goal was a record deal? Or that was like the yeah. That was being yeah. I got four. 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 I got Signed to this, like, do, do, do y'all think? Do you think, as a, as people, as all three of us, we've done great in our career, right? We have success. We still out here doing it. Do you think we chasing the money or we chasing the thrill? Because the other day, this is what I realized, right? Like when you drop an album, besides the money, it's the thrill, isn't mm -hmm. it? Because that's what we're place hustling for us, right? Yeah. Remember, because you wasn't getting no royalty money really, mm -hmm. like unless you, mm -hmm. you know, you selling ten million albums or something. Mm -hmm. So it really was. You know, you're going to get money, mm -hmm. but it was really about putting that music out mm -hmm. and people reacting to it and right. the streets saying it's crazy and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's that's the thrill. Who, that's who, who do you think drives us more at this point? After you got 10 years in your career, you got 12, 15 years in your career, is is it is it the thrill? Because it's you know you know when you hustle, right? After you make you, you make a, a certain amount, it's still a fucking, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chance it's you take. It's still a thrill. It's, st still, it's a thrill. still a thrill of right. it. Every you time you I mean? drop an album. I was watching, you You know, when you watch the drug dealer movie, somebody asked you, like, why he ain't get out the game right then? He got enough money. <laughs> right, he did right. it all. It's always that one last time. He still got to do right. it. He's right. still out there. Because right. he just, because it's, it, mm. now it's part of the, you know, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's still a thrill to me. Money can't right. be your only motivation or right. you do anything for money. Right. You know what I'm saying? People that don't have money, they do anything for money. Once mm. you got money, you got to have a different motivation or you ain't in it. You ain't never even gonna be the best at it. All right. Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 once I went platinum, I only went platinum once. Mm -hmm. um, I chased that high. Like, like, I chased it like it was a high. Like, was I was like, I wanted to go platinum again. And I never did. But, uh, <laughs> but you chased it. I, I chased uh, the shit out of that. It's like chasing the, uh, some pussy that you it. never yeah. got. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. You was in it for the chase of it. Yeah. Yeah. 
What you say, guess? I'm sorry. No, you did it. I, 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 you know, no, I'm just saying. The crazy thing, this is what I thought of the other day. I'm sitting there and I'm like, the on, the closest thing I got to that high is doing a podcast. And the podcast, the crazy shit about it, is like I drop an album every week. So you remember how long you used to take to make an album? Because right. we came from the two inch rail days. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't put an album together in three months like how these dudes do. These right. dudes go in their grandma's basement. And so I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, the closest thing I got to that is dropping a podcast and getting these million streams a week. And then now I'm chasing that. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm, I'm like, so I'm saying to myself, is what is it? Like what is? Is it the thrill? It is the thrill. It's it the it's thrill, valuable. right? Because every place, because we all started from drug dealing. It was that. That was the first thrill, right? Am yeah. I bugging? Mm -hmm. Or y'all yeah. can relate to no, that? No, know. definitely. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying, right? So what do you think you more did the two? The thrill, or I look like Kiss about to say the money. Definitely. <laughs> I got five kids. Man. Right, right. It's the money. Right. It's a little bit of the thrill. It's both. It's 50-50 with me. 50-50 mm. right. split. Because you, you remember back then it was more money. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. giving us. Yeah. You told me that right. story with X. Right. You know what I mean? They can't right. do that now. All right. All right. You got to have a studio in, in your basement or something. Now they right. ain't giving them budgets they was giving us back then. Right. Shout out to Steve right. Rifkin. Right, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to Steve. Ain't giving the budget, the whole shit changed now, so, right. you know what I mean? You gotta is, appreciate is, them time. Was there a time in the game, Fab, where, you know, because we just said we, we've been doing it for like 19 years, with like, uh, or, or how many years, I forget, mm -hmm. but where you kind of lost love for the game? I never, truthfully, me, I never lost love for the never? game. Never? Like, not even a little I'm bit? They just maneuver it in mm -hmm. the way I never really lost. I, I didn't like some of the politics, politics. that was going on in the game. But I never lost my love for hip hop and what, how passionate I was about hip hop. How when something, somebody play something dope for me, how that mm, make, make you feel, feel. Yeah. how that motivates you to want it. When people are mm. successful, I want to be in a successful circle too. So it, it always kept mm. kept me, you know. And I and I just love the music too. Like I love when somebody talking that shit. Whether it's me, whether it's whoever it is, when somebody right. saying that shit, or they give you that vibe, or like. When your shit came out, it gave you, it gave you like a vibe where you felt like it was relatable, but then it had that energy to it mm. as well. You know mm. what I'm saying? I like diff different artists for different mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's the shit that the love just keep me afloat. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Now the three of us, the one thing the three of us have in common besides us being from New York and being in LA, which we're going to address that later. Like that, that's just ill, just us three being in LA. But, we always kind of mess with like the new, newer generation. Like you'll always see embrace Fab. Them. Yeah. yeah, you'll always see Fab on a new dude joint, mm -hmm. with, working with a boogie. You'll always see Jada Kiss jump on uh, or, or bring out a young M.A. And you'll always see me like you know just show love if it's, mm -hmm. even if it's just giving a conversation. Right. When in fact, in our day, we wasn't really being embraced like that. I didn't even get embraced like that. Like yeah. I even look at it. I was talking. And how it was like classes. If if y'all was the juniors and like mm -hmm. big and them was the seniors, and mm -hmm. I came in on a freshman tip, mm -hmm. the 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 juniors and senior seniors were still fighting so much to be the man. They mm -hmm. wasn't looking out for the freshmen mm -hmm. like like they do now. Like you know they, what I'm saying? They was like trying to the ball They you, was trying to. Like they, you remember God. how the dude just as soon as he got in the game, he, he like you yeah. know let him know welcome to the NBA. Yeah, I, I think, think I, I think it just wasn't. It just was. That everybody was still so young and hungry and and right. and in the game and proving themselves too, right. to be able to 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 open the door, or extend a hand love. to somebody. It was right. a different love. love. Yeah. yeah, you know right. what I'm saying. I remember a lot of artists like when I was coming, they wasn't the same. And I I even tell the artists today like they to take advantage of it because right. you know what I mean. Like the same way they like even how we I was joking how whole. Like you were taking niggas wasn't taking pictures with Hov back in the days. Right. Like Hov just wasn't that wasn't his. You know what I mean? He was mm. on his whole shit, and mm. and now it's more just open for because it's just a different vibe now. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a it's a different vibe. So I I I think it's dope that that when when the older artists or the OGs or whatever look out for the younger artists coming yeah, in and, and and show them love and you know what I mean? 
a lot of them be looking up to niggas too. And right. when they meet you and then you you want some funny shit, you fuck up. Fuck that they love life. up for you. No, you but it's vice, ver- it's vice versa too. Because because it's hard to be the, the new young hot dude and not feel like everybody's supposed to kiss your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, I, that's, that, that, that ego be in there too. Yeah. You meet some niggas and they be on their shit and you just got to take it yeah, with you, it. The dude used to be on your poster on your wall, mm-hmm. but now they meet him mm-hmm. and they just, they don't even want to say nothing to him. They just want to be like, because I get it, I've been the man too. I've been the man a couple of times where, you know, I just felt like fuck that, fuck walking over there. Like, and as I got older, I embraced it more. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it takes time. Like, uh, right now, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like pretty much a, a, a hot topic. Uh, Joe Buttons, mm-hmm. uh, not Joe Buttons. Um, Waka Flocka and Pete Rock is going at it on, on, on social media. Weird dude, weird dude. I know, it's weird, weird combination, right? Yeah, well, so, um, which is crazy is because I believe Waka Flocka uh, did something and said, he, he did something and Pete Rock just defended it and now they're having this whole thing. And the thing about it is this, I think that we respected our older classmen uh, prior to us and before us but even if we didn't like respect them, we would never make that known yeah. publicly. Mm-hmm. Do you think is that is that a, a lack of what's happening right now? It's a little lack of respect, but it's also they got the platform to just say whatever online mm-hmm. in different places. Mm. Niggas is what, like you, I thought you was gonna say the Joe Button shit. I think I seen somebody wearing fuck Joe Button. No, no, he made like that. Oh, he's 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 a marketing now he's, genius. Now he's getting it. Yeah, he, he, he made his own shit. Oh, I, but I was like, yo, this this. Yeah, that's how Yachty I had one of them hoodies. Yeah, yeah. yeah they really hate him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they like they they look at him as like the old hating nigga. Like you know I love what? it though. But we remember that from the block too. It was mm. you was trying to get out on the block. It was an old hate nigga out there right, that right, want you right. on the block too. So. Right. Always. But what's the disconnect though? What what is it like? There there like uh, there's older there's people like us. I don't want to call us older people, but we embrace that. Why is there a, a, a like? It's like it feels like the '80s because like Pete Rock is considered the '80s. Can I can we say that? So it's like it's really like the eighties like and the early nineties, maybe. Oh, early nineties. Okay. 90s. So um, I feel like it's that generation, like kind of versus the 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 younger people. They they just can't get along. Is it because of uh, the style of music? It's a lot of things, and certain niggas, they personality just ain't right. they like, yeah. or they right. just ain't feeling what's going on over there, or they don't feel like it comes right. from they. Thing, or maybe they don't feel like that ever pays homage to this era. It's a lot of different right. reasons a nigga might feel away. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really crazy part on the block. I feel like old niggas used to feel like that because they figured like you was gonna cut into their money. But right. in, in this, in rap, that's two different lanes. Waka Flocka ain't in Pete Rock lane and Pete Rock ain't in Waka Flocka lane. So they ain't taking no money out of each other thing. It's maybe just a difference in opinions or how they so grew up, this, you know what I mean? All right. Now, 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 um, Kiss, you, you, are you, are you paying attention to like the, these guys going at like the, the younger generation and the, the, the Yachty's and the Joe Buttons, I'm, um, excuse me, Little Uzi, no, no, one of them, just stay, you know, one they of them. all niggas. hate Buttons. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I keep, I, I check it out a little bit. I don't, I don't dive all the way in. All right. How, how do you avoid like that? Like how, like nobody came at you like that? I mean, I think they know, man. You touch the stove, you're going to find out it's hot. Mm. Mm. But, but for the most part, I, I embrace all of them. You know what I mean? I don't, they, they see me, and it's a, it's a mutual respect. Yeah. As long as people respect each other, it shouldn't really be no problem. Even if you don't fuck with somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah. If we call you, you could be whatever. Stay yeah. where you at, you stay where you at. We progress in different directions. But you know what I mean? We ain't got to. I don't really pay attention to none of that shit. Like right. I feel, I see it and scroll, look, read it, and just keep scrolling. Like it ain't even like, right. you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times ain't nobody, they don't really turn into nothing anyway on some hip hop shit. So right, y'all gotta pop a bottle. Y'all gotta drink something. Come on now, y'all yeah. can't be sober champs on here. What we doing? Come on now, let's let's do it. Whatever you wanna do, you got a choice, baby. Come on, if you're supporting black excellence over here, you got French Montana shit. If you want to do a shot, is it shot time, Fab? I feel like you feel like I went wherever. Oh, it's let's my do first it. Time here. You can see him, Fab, smoke you know on I mean? camera. Right. This is. This, I'm just saying. This I'm hype. Long, I'm just trying to build up day. to. Yes, 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 go. yes, man. I'm trying to build up to it. What you want to do, Kiss? You want French get, vanilla? I gotta get something to eat. Yeah, go ahead. We gonna let you eat live on fucking drink champs, nigga. Me and Fab gonna get it in. But you gonna have before I have a drink. 
Listen, man. Come on, come on, Mr. Lee. Somebody help me out. This is crazy. This I would, whatever. I would yeah. do this. Like, nah, nah. Niggas was trolling us. Yeah. All, oh, no, 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 no. Fab, Fab, this is what I got to ask you. Chance. This is what I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. Is is your fans hitting you as much as they hitting me? For yeah, you to be I on see them. They attack both of us. Yeah. I see them like, yo, <laughs> even when I do so, they're like, yo, you got to do drink chat. Right. They're right. like, yo, I know you don't do mm -hmm. podcasts mm -hmm. and press, mm -hmm. like, but you got to do, you got to mm -hmm. do drink chance. And then I would run into you, and you was like, yo, you got to, I'm like, yo, we got to make it. I just always wanted to do it when it was the time yeah, to do time. it, when we had something like, you know, yeah, because, vibe off. Like. Because, see, Drink Chaps, uh, I, I remember exactly what you told me to say, as soon as I got to promote something. Mm -hmm. But just so you know. But not even on a promote time, right, too. Just right. something where we got something to go off of, and it's, you know. It's like food. I, Bring his food in here. Let the nigga eat. Come on, man. Fab never been here. Let the kids eat. You're going to take a shot before the food. And then we're going to keep it moving. This is what we got to do. We are for the culture. This is this, this is the first time a person from the end of the culture is running the culture. And we're going to do this right. Jada Kiss is my man. I got him drunk yesterday. Doesn't mean I'm not going to get him drunk today. Fabulous has never been here. He's the homie. And he's going to get the great treatment because he, that's a dessert. See, what, what it is is our culture was dying because we can't. We, we, we forgot to praise our people. Like to us, every rapper should be a fucking superhero. That's what it is like to me. Like you ever looked up a, you ever seen That's a how corny- That's rock stars do. They, they put, they rock stars. Eh? This is what I'm trying to say. This is a rock stars do. So this is what we're going to do right here, baby. I feel like Jada Kiss should pour the shots. I feel like that's how, uh, how you, you got, okay, let's do it, kids. Come on, open up the Ciroc. Let's have a party. Eat your pizza and all that. Doing all that. We're doing something different. On Drink Champs, Prince live Vanilla. eating. The niggas, he said, <laughs> live eating. He said he can't drink till he eat. And guess what? We're going to do them both, baby. Come on, make some noise. <laughs> so, so Fab, was it you who started the, the Friday Night Freestyles, or was it was? No, he who, started that. He, you started that. How did how, how did that is exactly? I actually jumped in. He, so he had that shit. So was doing he the shit for Envy. He had it bubbling. Okay. He was doing Clue mm. at night, and I I heard I heard mm. niggas like, yo, you heard them new Fab freestyles? Mm -hmm. Then I heard probably one or two of them. I said, I need in on this. And I seen how much interest it was. I went somewhere in like Hove and J. Cole and Meek and everybody was there. Like they, everybody was like, hey, we hear yeah, them shit, them shit. Too. And, and Hove was like, yo, it even got the Clue ad libs on it. And uh, like, you know what I mean? Cause I told Clue like, we gotta do that. We gotta, gotta, make we gotta it bring, authentic. we gotta, you know what I mean? Right. I'm telling him to shout out Jamaica Ave, yeah. Big Music Hut. So, I'm so was him. so was it like because it it, it it felt like y'all was almost battling each other at first. So you started it first. Mm -hmm. You saying Fab, mm -hmm. and then yeah, he started it. And then when when Kiss did it, you was like, what I this just nigga wanted, doing? Keep it real, I just Fab. Wanted, <laughs> <laughs> Keep it real, nah, Fab. He was like, yeah, what is he doing? I got a mutual. <laughs> and Kiss got bars too, so I it's got like a dangerous. Respect for Kiss. <laughs> okay. And I didn't even question. I looked it like at it like. like he opened up a mean lane for mm. this. I love this, mm. and this this went away. He mm. brought it back. Mm. I need in. I want. Mm. Let me get some of this. Mm. You know what I mean? And look at y'all there. I'm here promoting that album. Got that check, baby. <laughs> Got that check. Make some noise for that check, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, listen. Check. This is this is to Fab. Yeah. This is the motherfucking Jada Kiss. This is to hip hop. This is to you guys standing here, standing the test of time with your career and standing here. And by the way, we all here have a career. We don't have a job. This is a career when you got more than 10 years in there feeding your family. And I personally want to say I respect you brothers. I'm proud of you brothers. And I want everybody to go out there and get that motherfucking album. Salud! <laughs> and it's going down like this. Mm. Ah, shit. French Vanilla's a little harsh when it's hot. I can't even front. I can't even front. My nigga French, I love you, my brother. We gotta chill that up. We gotta chill that up. That's what we gotta start doing. We gotta get, you know, uh, bartenders. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hit them fries, goddammit. Yeah, this is the first time Drink Champs history. They are eating live on TV. And guess what? We support it all, oh, goddammit. Big up to my people from Revolt in the back. We are smoking marijuana, eating French fries and pizza. That's some real rapper shit, just in case y'all don't know. That's, that's rapper food. That's tall food, right? Yeah. On the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's New York shit too. It's New York shit too. We try to we try to get y'all the New York pizza. You know what I'm saying? Well, we, we know we're in LA. We eat New York shit. Yeah. New York style in LA. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. We know we we seen y'all at the other joint, and they had like a bottle of red wine for y'all. They come on. They got to stop. They that. had wine for themselves. They gave us water. They gave y'all water. It was water champs for real. They gotta relax. <laughs>
I gotta take my shot every now and then. You know, it's all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's inside job, inside joke. But so now, so you guys are doing these freestyles now. Now, at, in, to New York, to the fans, and I'm putting myself in the fan zone at this point. It was like everybody was speculating. Are they going at each other at first? Mm. Right? Because it was like you fired one off. On a on on a, I forget what day, and then you fired one off like the very next we week. Did it the same day? Mm -hmm. Same day. They, wow. they all came out the same day. Wow. Mine came I'm out in the it. morning. He came out at midnight. Wow. So I'm just saying, people were I... people were speculating. Is it shots being thrown? Is this you know what I mean? You guys going at each other? How how did y'all turn it around? Nah, because to me, I was never going around. Because when I started doing it, I started doing it for the love of mm -hmm. what. Well, I came from freestyling over, mm -hmm. freestyling over other people's beats, mm -hmm. and that's what I, you know, initially came in doing it. Like I felt like that was missing, like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. And I had did it in a while, so it was kind of, it was almost like sparring for me. Right. So then when Kiss came in and was doing them too, I see the gener the, the the interest it generated, and I was like, well, let's why don't we combine the two, right. you know what I mean? Put a theme behind it, put you know. Freddy versus Jason. Was already it, doing them out for free. Right. Yeah. Why is it called <laughs> Freddy versus Jason? Well, I it's riding on Elm Street, by the way, because they try yeah. to sue us. I mean, license. <laughs> Wait, what? They had to switch it. The, the title name you know, Freddy versus Jason was a real movie. Oh. So you gotta if you want to somebody's oh, title, you gotta. Oh. But we're not trying to do that. We're not. <laughs> they gotta relax. Two fifty. They gotta relax. <laughs> they gotta relax. They, they gotta relax. relax. So. Ooh. I mean, That's how it became Friday on Elm Street. We just oh, okay. mixed it. Mixed it okay, because I, I remember CNN came at us. Yeah. For, for oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. CNN. oh, no, it wasn't nice. It was not nice. They, but they made it clear. Like, you can say you're CNN. Don't ever play. have it on paper. <laughs> and I'm talking about, now, mind you, at the time, Time Warner was on Warner Brothers. Mm. So I guess, I guess at that time, they couldn't sue each other, but they made it clear. Like, do not use that, y'all. Right. And you, if you notice, all or none of our promotional shit ever had CNN. Mm -hmm. You might have said CNN, and, you, but it's, it was, yeah, yeah, so that's crazy. So, like, okay, you guys are in the game. Now you guys start learning contracts, right? Because obviously, uh, when you learn contracts, this is the reason why Kiss has been on maybe three or four labels. You've been on Elektra. Yeah, I started at Electra, then I went to Atlantic. Didn't you have then Arista at one? Jam. Oh, no, no Arista. Okay, Electra. I had Atlantic. Anascope at first on the low. Oh, Anascope. Oh, okay. That was, first, that was um, your my first, first deal. Well, um, that was with Nate Dogg? Steve Stout. No, but it, we never put the project out there. Oh, okay. It's a, this is a funny story. It was, we want to get into it. I learned loyalty. Let's, let's get it. Clue had worked at Anascope. Mm -hmm. So we got the deal up there. Mm -hmm. And um, Steve Stout was up there, and um, Clue ended up doing some. I think Clue got fired. Wow. Low key, I think he Clue got fired from Interscope, and they was like coming to me like, "Well, are you gonna go with stay him? with okay. Interscope or go with the man Clue?" Uh huh. I had a tough decision. This is my first record deal. We just talked how you getting a record deal was mm -hmm. was the goal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was goal. So. I had this decision of, am I going to walk away from my record deal? You know what I mean? Oh, let's do that. Or, or just go with Clue and we figure it out. So I chose to go with Clue and figure it out. Good brother, good brother, good brother. Make some noise for me. God damn, God damn. So go ahead. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't feel comfortable staying at Interscope with, without people that I knew. I always heard before that, too, how the industry was shady. And you know what I mean? Different little that things. Too, and, um, you have. That's, that's all you fat. That's all you fat. We gotta celebrate we you today. Yeah, we tonight, gotta celebrate fat. that. Kiss been on here eight times, goddammit. Mm. You gotta, you gotta, and listen, you can always come back anytime, any, anytime you wanna talk. Because mm. you know, you know what it is? I was, I got wind, you know, I got little, like, um, um, uh, 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 bugs and everywhere where people go. And you know what I, I don't like when people say you don't have a good personality? Mm. The thing about it is, no. That, that's what I'm saying. They, you, you know why they ain't in the locker room? Right. I see. I'm in the locker room with you. I know you're a funny nigga. Like mm. I know, and I'm. I'm we're gonna display that today. We're gonna celebrate you today. We're gonna celebrate the both of y'all. You're gonna get your piece of y'all ready for another shot. Or y'all. After or, this. Yeah. Hey, it's some rosé. You know, for a tracer. You know. Mm. You know what I mean? You gotta. You gotta trace your motherfucking shot with. A, with you know, with a shot. Ooh, you for know the what I mean? tracer. Mm. That's old mm -hmm. school. 
Yeah, hell, I that's... show how old I was right now. I'm 40 years old, y'all. Yo, as much as, and Fab, you just had a birthday too. Yeah, Rose just day for the you just turned 40. Not the chaser. The chaser. <laughs> you know, you, you know, I'm dyslexic. Come on, my brother. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. Called it the tracer. I've been getting money over being dyslexic for years. Tracer Rose be for the tracer. <laughs> Everybody in dyslexic class got to start following me. I'm just telling you. So you, you, yo, we've been in this game. You, but you just turned forty. You just celebrated your birthday. Yep. How, how did that feel, brother? I mean, it felt. Truthfully, it felt like a. A regular day. I know it's, that's like a milestone age, but I ain't really. I don't know. He gets so much money, man. He you know, feel different. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 my 40th birthday was trash. The yeah. fucking I was September 6th. Yeah. I turned 40. September 6th. Mm -hmm. The fucking hurricane came. Mm -hmm. So Fat Joe hits me and goes, "We gotta go. We're all gonna die." Mm -hmm. I know. Excuse me. First off, he didn't hit me and say that. Let me tell you how foul my friend is. Mm -hmm. I'm at the, I went to shit at Prime 112, the top. I'm thinking I'm doing it. I got all the rosé in the world. And Fat Joe walks in and says, I love you. Happy 40th. We're Let's all going to die. Mm. What? Like, what kind of? <laughs> what kind of birthday greeting? <laughs> He's like, the hurricane is coming. Now, me, Fab, I'm like, I'm going to stay at the St. Regis. These niggas ain't letting this come down. Mm -hmm. And then the St. Regis evaporated me. It was like, I, and I had to go back to New York. This is the place I didn't want to be on the 40th because you got to celebrate outside. If you're born and raised in real true blood New York, and when you cut me and it's a, if the Yankee sign comes out, mm -hmm. you need to celebrate your yeah. birthday somewhere else. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's other people that's going to come out because it's your 40th. And guess what? I was right back in my town. Mm -hmm. Let's make some noise for me going right back home. <laughs> Even though I didn't want to. I wanted you to can't, stay. You can't escape the town, man. You can't escape the town. So nah, I can do some drinking, Mr. Lee. Because I got notes and shit like that, and I got a special surprise for y'all, too. Mm -hmm. um, where's my man, motherfucker? What's, what's the name of the company? Nine Lives? What? Yes, sir. What is it? Nine Lives Collective. Nine Lives Collective. Give him a gift, man. Give him a gift, please, man. You know, we treat artists good. I'm an artist. You know what I'm saying? Make, make sure the artists look good. You know what I'm saying, Kay? Kay, you need some Hennessy, Kay? You good? See, you know what I'm saying? These other outlets don't even know niggas' names. You know what I'm saying? All those Street fam, y'all good? Y'all good, homie over there? You good? I know What's you're a very brother? serious guy. Good? I respect you. I respect you, brother. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at that, man. Give him, give him them pre-rolls. Mm-hmm. And it supports Puerto Rico, in case you don't know that. Look at the top. That's Heath and all that crazy shit on there. Look at that. I like to treat my artists good. Fat, you can pop that bottle of rose whenever you're ready. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, kiss. You got to pop yours, too. Come on. I'm halfway through my bottle, man. Nah, nah. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. So, but then we here celebrating. Oh, they told me you a real champagne drinker. That's what they told me. I drink brown. You drink brown. But you used to be a champagne drinker. I, I see you in the club. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, I come let's see if, let's see. We're gonna find out right now if you're a champagne nigga. Right now, fam. Okay, we're gonna find out. Let's see. Ooh, you popping it. Ooh! Hit, that's championship game shit! Let's make some noise with championship game shit! Oh my god! Oh, that, that was ill. Like that he pers no, not this one, kiss. This is the yeah, show. That <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got your shit nice and cold. You know what I'm saying? We're going to drink a whole, this is how we do it, man. You know, we got to know how to treat our artists. You know what I'm saying? Our artists are superheroes nowadays, you know what I'm saying? And I got notes. I ain't going to my notes yet. You know, I got my ESPN first take on. I'm going to make sure kids don't take out my eye. No, 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 no. I got this. You I'm going to do something I learned from you. Okay, okay. Okay, and that's some pre-rolls. I'm going to hit a pre-roll, too. I'm smoking a blunt. Okay, kids got me a little Yeah, I got to do a pre-roll. Of course, we in LA. I got this. Got this in them. Woo! Okay, right. kids. Okay, that. kids. Then Make some noise, that. man. Make some noise. Yeah. What's this? Huh? Oh! <laughs> kids been on drink chance too much. That's how I pour. That's how I pour the champagne, fat. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's you how. See I pour. this, man? Now, fat. Where is that? What you that. call this again, man? No? It's called the PC. Cause you hold like that, and then you twist. Mm. You got that twist at the end. It's okay. It's, I learned it in Paris, Fab. I've been changing on niggas for a while. Mm. Niggas should have checked me a you long like time that, ago. Right, Mr. Lee? I've been changing on niggas for a while. Niggas told me they had a Jada Kiss session, and a legend came in with wine, and he was loose. 
And I, I, I looked, I didn't even find it funny. I said, I, I like wine. This is what I do. And we was getting drunk on wine. You know, we, No, it wasn't the wine. Oh, I know what you're saying. But you got to relax. I'm just rolling with the story. <laughs> 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 so, Fab, what's, what's that era in hip hop where if you could live it again, like, and you could just put yourself in there where you would put yourself? Like, I'm saying, like, any era in hip hop, it don't have to be the era. It could be any era. What, I already what, what, know his answer. What? The golden era, baby. I, I now, like what it. is the golden era? If you say that, because there's different people who got different answers. If I answers. put a 10 year, what's the name on it? I ain't gonna lie, I like from like 95 to 2005. Okay, that's see, see, he answered it like a real drink champer. Because that's what we be asking people, yeah. that 10 year gap. Mm -hmm. So you said 95 to what? 2005. Oh, you went a little further. Okay, that's not too, <laughs> that is a little further, right? Because no, no, no. Oh, no, no that's, that's 10. Good. That's yeah. 10. Oh, you know, I'm dyslexic. You gotta, mm -hmm. And I don't know math neither. I'm special education. <laughs> we saw some room. I'm, I'm that nigga that niggas laughed at in the yellow bus. Too. No, I didn't go to high school. I was already in jail, yeah. I was in, yeah, juvenile, you know, they got me from, they got me early, fam. Real project, but, yeah, man. they got me early, 14 years old. It was done for me. It was done. I was, but I started writing rhymes. Let's make some noise for me, Whoa. figuring it out. Yeah. Yo, let me tell y'all something about your man Fendi right now. Mm -hmm. Fendi got Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Ever since he snuffed Sub-Zero. Word. Ooh, make some noise for that. Make some noise for that. Because... Uh. His industry car went up. Mm. Like he was just normal. Like, like Fendi, my nigga. Like I mm. fucks with him. Let me tell you something. He need one more snuff in there. Listen, listen. I think he need one he need, more. Nah, nah. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's keep Fendi home. Glory, Come on, let's not do that. Listen, that's listen. Old work. He need one more new one. This is the first old work nigga. Like no work. Man. Listen, you gotta put a new, nah, nah, new stuff in. Yeah, he need a new one. one. This is young kids. You stop. You put out a project. They tell you when you drop it, a new one. He need a new one. Oh, two or something. Oh, Fendi need a new knockout. He need a new one. Old work. Oh, he need you know, a new one. Let me, new let me tell y'all niggas something. I, I, this is a story I never said before in my life, right? So Fendi sees me, I'm performing, and he goes, Listen, man, you need chance in between your performance. So I'm like, I don't know this nigga from over on the wall. I'm like, Yo, I, I feel like I need chance. <laughs> He's like, I got you. He's, he didn't ask me no money. He said, I'm gonna go everywhere. My nigga, the nigga snuck on a plane. This is pre Bin Laden, obviously. Yeah. Do y'all understand? Friend, do you remember this? Yeah. Listen, my nigga, let me tell you what these East Brooklyn niggas was advanced. I said, how could you sneak on a plane? So we walked in. The niggas that check their tickets, they give you, they rip the shit back and they give it back to you. The niggas had every nigga who checked in and ripped the ticket, give it back and put it in the radio and was like, yo, ass, ah, such and such in the radio. And these niggas came and they said, oh, we was already on the plane. Oh my God, y'all actually fucked me up. These niggas is on the plane, six deep. It's not just one or two of these niggas. Huh. That nigga Fendi, let's make some noise for him being grindy yeah. early. Yeah. He been, yo, I don't think y'all understand what I just said. Nah, sneaking He's, on the plane is, is that's, ill. That's not. That's above boosting. That's not jumping over that's the turnstile. Way turn above boosting. Yeah, that's not you jumping a turnstile. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a not jumping a turnstile. Pay your fare. <laughs> like, that ain't that. Yeah, and you know, if you would have got caught, it'd have been mad awkward. Like, excuse me, sir. You got arrested <laughs> sneaking on a plane. I think that's a fed, federal yeah. charge. Anything on a plane is a fed charge, yeah. right? Hell yeah. FIA. You ever seen a nigga smoke on a plane? Not the commercial, not the um. Right. Yeah. Nah. You, you blew a bogey on the plane. Nah, I seen a nigga who blew a bogey on the plane. Who? Is he? Did he get arrested? They used to smoke cigarettes they on the plane back in the day. Oh, yeah, they, they had smoke. They had smoke in planes. You right. You yeah, right. They, if some planes still got the ass trade on their joints, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's yeah. why they got yeah. advised. I'm a little bit of both. I'm not, I wasn't so in that era, but I heard them. niggas that said they would jump on a plane and, 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 yeah. and smoke a bogey. Yeah, I've never, I, I yeah, I, never, I never experienced that. I'm trying to, though. <laughs> like, I wanna, come on, K, K, you want to smoke a bogey on the plane? Yo, I've been on privates, but I, I knew if I would have lit that bogey, I'm like, everybody would have frowned upon me. You ever smoked a blunt on a train in New York? Yeah, I've done Hell that, yeah. and, I, and I've I done that in the, between the cars. Not though. the metro. No, not sitting in the car just I've blowing. done that, but I felt so disrespectful. 
Because there was there's always people there that's like, for oh, real? Man, he used to light cars up. That was his thing. He literally Look, loved to do that. that was like, his roll thing. up in front of everybody and just light it. Okay. But he make he had it, like, timed out. So, like, he really, like, his couple stops and then he get off. Because you could get locked up. Back then, you definitely get locked some up. Some old school, school New York shit. Niggas ever smoked in the movie theater. Definitely. Definitely. I got I smoked it. Me, I smoked Styles, and K got dragon. kicked out and of the And there ain't no coming back. Plaza. <laughs> We went to CC before with the whole crew, got it's kicked CC out. Before. We was on the, look at this story though, mm-hmm. this is the illness. Mm-hmm. They kicked us out. We, mm-hmm. we get into this shit, we, mm-hmm. we put the blunt in the, um, like the McDonald's cup. Mm-hmm. We think, we blowing, nah, passing it around. Nah, you ain't do that. Know what you I mean? talking about with the straw? Yeah, the, you put the, the blunt is the, the straw. That's what we used to do. Yeah. Nah, son. We nah. don't, with Bay Plaza, CB4 uh-huh. just coming on. They knock me, Styles, and K. Nobody wants to leave, though. Right. We on the back staircase now. We got to wait till the whole crew. Mm-hmm. We fell asleep. What? In the back staircase? We wake up. <laughs> the whole movie theater is empty. I mean, it's, em- it's like, yo, yo. <laughs> Nobody's there. Not our mans. <laughs> the popcorn. The whole shit is right. empty. We come out the door right. and it's snowing. We like, what the fuck? Right. And then like one last, they must have like, yo, we gonna go around one more time. Right. Then they seen like, yo, and right. picked us up. Now, that was the illest shit. I remember, remember that shit was? <laughs> Sleeping on the back staircase at Bay Plaza movie thing. Now, one thing I had to deal with uh, uh, was me being from Left Rack, right? And me having people from Queensbridge, actually, because Trash, regardless of what, Trash was the person who walked me through. Mm-hmm. And me coming back home, it always was like a little hard because people were like, why you, you know, it's always a, a hater or something because people expect you to just stay with your own at all. Mm-hmm. You was a person from Brooklyn that had a unique situation. Most of your crew was from Queens. Mm-hmm. Did you ever like receive slack? Mm-hmm. Not really. My my real internal crew that moved with me was still my hood in Brooklyn. But okay. when I went to Clue, it was just to connect. We made that connection with Clue, and they embraced me because like I was Clue artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I, my my team that I was running with was still. No, but I'm saying guys. when you went back to Brooklyn, was people nah? Because my guys was st- was with me. Oh, okay. We go meet Clue, and we going okay. like you know we every. I think every artist too was coming in that you bring your you bring your homies like you know what I mean you bring your team. I don't know if they doing that now. Some some guys are doing it, but um, you know now it's a different way. At that time, you brought all your guys with you. Like it was everybody was showing up everywhere, 10, 12, 15 deep, and don't let you have a show. Then it's then it's 30. 40, 50 years, yeah, 40. Your whole projects is there. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we was moving so i never had that like coming back problem or like you know what i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i moved to queens for for like yeah. for like two for like a year a year and a half right. i lived on springfield boulevard Damn, right by springfield, springfield high right by springfield Damn. high school who didn't like you why did they move you over there i just was that was me supposed to have been like my little cut out the hood oh. kind of out my brooklyn hood right. to kind right. of queens kind of thing now like brooklyn is like the cut now did you ever think that like, well, Brooklyn, some parts, you know, like yeah, with you know, downtown you know. Williamsburg, but you right. best star in Brownsville right. and East New York is still right. Brooklyn. Right. Right. They're still, they, they gentrifying, but right. watch it. Right. Yeah, watch relax. It. Yeah, still, still, keep relax. <laughs> you gotta relax. You gotta relax. But we doing this motherfucking hip hop is walking in now. I just wanted to help, you know. We got to boost these ratings, keep y'all shit hot, make sure we motherfuckers go get the, what's the, uh, it's not Freddie Friday Williams. Friday on Elm Street. Friday on Elm Street. <laughs> Motherfucking Pup Daddy in the building. Yes, 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 yes. What's up, what's up, what's going on, man? What's up, family? What's up, you want to let them know that niggas ain't pulling up and rap radar like that. <laughs> what's, what's going up? on, my brother? How you doing? Oh, man, man. man. Yo, it's Groove here. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, birthday, birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. It's fabulous. The only nigga that got the name that I want. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you, my brother. Um, yeah. Let's take a shot for that, boy. <laughs> 
fellow I'm supposed to take shots. Hey, yo, y'all feeling a little mellow. Yeah, what's yeah, yeah. We got to turn them up. We got to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay, yeah. I know when you when you're with me, baby. Right, I'm with you. Right, right. I, had to, I had to give you a surprise. Shot. Let the chairman pull up. Because <laughs> we are helping promote this motherfucking album that you guys got. We are helping promote the excellence that you guys are putting together, and we helping doing it. You know what I'm saying? With the chairman of Revolt, thank you for coming yes, through. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? We I have, have some questions. Yeah, please. You I are, you questions. are, he, he's actually our guest questions. host today. Yes, I, yes, I, I, I guest host. Because that's how, that's how. How y'all feel? We need to wake up. Let's wake, wake up. up. Turn up, Pop. Turn up, Pop. That's how y'all feel? That's how y'all feel? Y'all niggas ain't seen me in that long. That's right. That's how y'all feel about me, man. Let's get this shit going. Let's get this shit going. You want Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my fresh. You don't like me, nigga. So you don't love me? Look at my yeah, shit, man. Look. Look at that shit, man. <laughs> we get some more French vanilla. Fresh vanilla. French vanilla. Yo, French vanilla. French vanilla. The black excellence. Black yeah. excellence. Drink champ. Revolt TV. Hey, yo. Motherfucking. Into, into, into legends. Legends. Because everybody can't be one. That's and you're right. looking at four. Woo! Cheers to you. Well, we yeah. just turned up. That's that French vanilla, baby. That's that French vanilla. Yeah, why, why? man. Why you ain't never um make the Coco Loso official drink? We still negotiating. That's a, oh, oh, I think that's, oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah. I went somewhere all quick. My bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. We, nothing over. Nothing okay. over. Yeah, that's okay. my brother. It's, it's like over. the time got to be right, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You know? But I gave him my word, like, if okay. I ever did something with that, we came up with it together. Man, that was, in my it crib. was organic. That yeah. Was, you know, yeah, how, that how, was that's so, what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead. Take bro. it from there. How did that come it was, up? It was, I think, the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Puerto Rican Day Parade. And, I mean, I guess what a lot of people don't know and what doesn't really get, you know, publicized is how close New York rap artists are. Mm. Like, we don't really, like, have beef. Like, 50 has beef with some cats. LL has some beef. Mm. The rest of us, we didn't really, we don't really have beef with each other, mm. like from New York. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we, we all grew up together. You know mm. what I'm saying? And so us hanging out is nothing but us just like hanging out like regular people. Right. And um, we was at the Puerto Rican Day Parade, and right. we was in the crib chilling, doing what we do. Uh -huh. You know, he has a lot of incredible ideas, and it, uh -huh. it, you know, it just started off from there. He helped to kick off the rock and. Mm. You know, it's truly a blessing. My brother's right. bad, and I, I look forward that's to getting money with him in the future. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Make some noise for that. Yeah. The, the, the one thing I've been no, no, you got questions. You say you got questions. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him yeah. with some questions. That's what I'm talking about. This is your co-host for the oh. evening. That's all. Who's that's your all. top three MCs? Mm, that was a tough one off top. Yeah. But my top three? Mm. Yeah. Biggie, Nas, Jay-Z. Mm. Boom. I gotta say the same thing, Biggie, Jay Z, and I. In no particular order. How are y'all, as New York artists, mm. how are y'all adapting to the situation mm. of trap music mm. and being on the kick versus the snare? Mm. I just wanna oh. have another shot to that before oh, y'all drink, because I wanna just God make sure it. that everybody got their it. shit. Yeah. The guest the guest host 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 yeah. Sufficiently. Yeah. What a shot. What, what a, a shot. shot. What, what a, a shot. shot. Yeah, let's do it. But I just want to let y'all know y'all drink drink jams. Drink chat. That's right. Where everything right. goes, you know, when we yeah. slur our words yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have fun. Because I came from here to um, my it was my yeah. man. Yeah. It's my yeah. man. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. on his way. Whoopie Lou, happy birthday. You already know. You got. Hold on. I'm missing a shot. I'm not gonna skip it. Yeah. That's not what I do over here. God damn it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, man, once again, once yes, again. Yeah. us being, uh, you know, black out yes. the black, black excellence, excellence. Yes. having fun, yes. drink champs, we're yes. both TV, let's motherfucker. And ain't have nobody ashy in the crew. No, oh, yeah, right. you know, no, no, we got St. Regis soap. <sighs> yeah. I know you needed mm. that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's so, <laughs> up? Uh -huh. I say the kick versus the snare. You know, we come from the kick, right? Oh, we come yeah. from the snare. Which one we come from? The kick? We come from the snare. We come from the snare. That's that's embedded. Mm -hmm. That's something we can do effortlessly. But since they doing the other thing, mm -hmm. I say instead of negating it, you embrace it, mm -hmm. and you get on that joint and kill it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I mean? Instead of hating it, it, yeah, you adapt you to your situation, style, style you know and you mean? maximize yeah. your opportunity. Even though it might not be your cup of tea. Mm. 
I think you gotta adapt and just you know switch your style to whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you can, if you that, right. if you that guy, if you can switch up your style, if you can go south. So you off. feel like you 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 um will dumb your shit down? Nah, not no, dumb no, it down. No. You still gotta no. be you. Never. You do you still on you. on that trap beat mm. and obliviate. Yeah. That world. Mm -hmm. Do you. That's a very important yeah. word. Yeah. I want to talk about New York rap. Mm. You know? Take it there. New York rap. We have to do us. Do y'all feel like we as a community are doing us? Or are we trying to survive and catch on to a wave? Or do you feel like New York is New York, man. I can't even sugar water it down. It's New York, New York. A, a, a percentage is trying to catch the wave, and then there's still a percentage that's doing authentic. The waves change New too. York no. music. And so does, does the wave feel like New? Does the wave feel like New I York? I feel like it. it yeah, it's because New back. York has even changed. Yes. The whole, you know what I mean? So you you can't. You can't go with the flow. You got to be the flow. Too. You got to be with the flow. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love that. I think it's important for people to hear that because a lot of times, to be honest, y'all don't get played in the, in the southern things. cities right. mm -hmm. because they feel like there's some tension that's really not there. They feel yeah, there's yeah. some lack of respect right. that's not really there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just right like, now, you know, I want to just know y'all opinion on it and right I would now, have to agree with you totally. What we looking good is we got Cardi B out there. Cardi B is out yeah. there kicking pure ass. Yes. And when you speak to Cardi B, her slang is so New York. She don't even have to say where she's from. Mm -hmm. yeah. She'd be like, ah, like, this, yeah. bitch, I know where you from. Excuse mm -hmm. me, I didn't mean to call her. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you already know. And, and and she's from uptown she, she too. It's reeked, like she reeked New York. Yeah, like, she reeked it, it, New York. Like, and she's out there kicking ass. Right. Like, so did you did, did you guys um you know to, to reiterate his question, but in a different way? Like a lot of people always keep saying, is New York back? I never like saying I, I never, never like trying to like yeah. bring New York. And I always felt like even when people was trying to do those records, New York back. You don't right. gotta say New York back. You gotta make a hit record, mm -hmm. and that's what puts New York you back. You know, with dudes like Diddy still breathing in yourself and myself and yourself, right. that question's already answered. Mm -hmm. It ain't go nowhere. We mm -hmm. don't. You don't gotta. You know what I mean? You start putting yourself. You start slighting from what you bring to the culture mm -hmm. when you add to that. Mm -hmm. No, it's not back because it ain't go nowhere because you looking at the culture. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. That's how you got to carry it. Oof. So everybody feel like that. Oof. I know I want to be in a success circle. Mm. And whatever is successful, you know, it's different levels of success, but whatever is mm. successful, I want to be in that. It ain't about just They always try to divide and conquer us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like New York supports New York enough? Like, like uh, most, most of it on the low. Okay. We don't do it on the broad. We don't. Dudes, I'm sure a lot of people that portray like they have a problem with each other or they're in their cribs and in their own personal zones mm -hmm. playing the shit out of the other person's catalog or music or, mm. you know what I mean? They enjoy the other person's success. They don't, they don't do it as much as the South. That's how the South slid in. You took it somewhere else. New Are York. you saying that you no. were still playing 50 while y'all was going at it? I'm a fan of 50. You were still, be, so I while y'all was going at it, yeah, you were still that ain't, playing I'm his not, music? Yeah, I, 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 Get Rich or Die Trying is a classic. Right. Anybody with ears no, that No, but was work, it a classic while y'all was battling? It, it's always a classic. No, and you still I listen to it? I'm not like a, okay. I'm not. I'm asking. I'm a realist and I deal with the situation on the table. That's all. You know what I mean? That's Just all. because. It's a beautiful way Something of was, you know, it was a discrepancy. That don't take away from that body of work. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's that's still a classic, no 50, matter what's going on. 50 was mad at me one time because I voiced that. I felt like he was trying to Mess isolate up. the fan. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. when he was going at, you know, I mean, of course, he had per his personal reasons why he was going at different people. Mm -hmm. But when you going at all these guys in New York and trying to bring them down to put yourself higher, you change, whole. yeah. You changing the whole, you changing the whole perspective, our, our whole perspective to hip hop as a culture, to people out of town, to you know what I mean? Because at one point he was what, going at Kiss, Joe. Well, but you know, like, and the, you know what I mean? It's all of our. In our, his defense, without him needing defense, 
his formula to come in was that. Right. So I think at a point, that was his only, only thing he knew was, I'm gonna do this and that's gonna work because that's what that works for him. Work that. But, but that I think he likes it too. <laughs> no, that's he definitely likes shit, it, but. Man, man. But that that's what's interesting about your freestyles was like, I always felt like when you freestyled, it was like you, you're returning to like your home base. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I came from. Okay, is, right. it, was that how, how how it started? Yeah, that's what I came from. Even mm -hmm. up there when we went up there for Clue, that yeah. was me just, I come from that. Right. And I had to learn how to, you know, make songs. And mm -hmm. even like, you know, I did a song with, with, with Puff and O2 when we did Trade It All, we, like that was me learning how to make those kind of songs. But I come from the mm -hmm. class of watching Puff make records with, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, that's why I'm like, I knew how to rap in mixtape form, but then when I had the time to make a song, I had to go, you know, to what I was raised on or what, you know what I mean? Crop. Right. Okay. So now when you hear like these stories of these super producers and the, their crazy ideas and like how they, make, they put it together, you guys both work with Puff. He's mm -hmm. standing right here. Like, like, what was it? Describe what is it like being in the studio with him? Because all he's been on before all of us. So we all look up to him. We all show him love. Damn, Boulay Cab. I just seen you. My nigga, Boulay Cab, my nigga. So listen, my bad. And so me, listen, how, that how was question it? for me is is everything. Like he, he's the first person that gave us an opportunity. Mm. Should we you make some noise mean? for that? I feel like we should make noise. <laughs> that, God damn it. Opportunity, yeah. opportunity to one of the most goldenest things yeah. in the world. You know what I mean? That it's people like, don't even recognize. It's Somebody like giving you an opportunity. The, it's to like do coming something, out of the money, draft whatever. and going. Priceless. We was able to get drafted to the Chicago Bulls when Jordan was the hottest. He, you know what I mean? So it was that's a blessing from the Lord Himself. And then him just showing us, let me backtrack a little bit. Mm. Not only him, mm. we was able to be in the presence of Notorious B.I.G., you know what I mean? So that- you Definitely make it yeah. for that. Yeah. He made us stars, he changed our lives. He was able to, you know, put my mm. son through college, buy my mom's a house, learn how to perform, right. do things of that nature. And, you know what I mean? For me, it's priceless. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I would, my story, he's included in my story. Yeah, your, your life couldn't be told. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? And that's, and that's all gratitude, all praise. I learned from the work ethic from him, too. Like, oh, yeah. Kissy even tell you, like, I'll be up. If I'm working, I don't even want to sleep. I, I want to keep working. You the only one besides him. Mm -hmm. You the only thing I see that can... He could stay up longer than anybody, and yeah, then yeah. he he's like an X Men. Yeah, then you, it. and then it's you. Yeah, and then you, partner. you and then some. But you bigger my partner, yeah, man. I mean, he used the word Ruby Lou in the motherfucking band. Hey yo, hey, yo. Yeah. Yeah. we got everything set up. Hey, bro, man. No, no, just yeah, pull up, pull up, bro, pull up. It's King Day. Happy birthday, King. I love you, baby. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Groove, we know you don't drink. Are you gonna drink today? He drink some champagne, no, he's gonna have a he sip. Drink, we, got, we got yeah. Tiger Bone. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing that, Tiger. Look what we got, though. Yeah, you can do one of these with Tiger. No Tiger. Mm. No Tiger. No yeah. Tiger. Okay, that was real. Man, but yo, <laughs> yeah, hey, yo. Um, Aqua Hydrate, no doubt. We everything over here. Mm -hmm. We got water. Look how niggas um, come. I need y'all to blur me out smoking this fake <laughs> cigarette, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the kids, they may be in the sponsors. This is a fake cigarette, so we need nah, to just blow, man. blur me out, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. We blur that out. You, you good. You good, man. I'm just Steve. doing a movie scene. I just right want, now. let me just tell y'all something. Let me just tell y'all something. Um, the fans is very important to us, right? And the thing about it is, the fans wanted, not only y'all on here, but they wanted you on here, right? Mm -hmm. And we wanted to show love, because I'm an artist, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I wanted to sure. give y'all something more mm -hmm. than some, because I'm your peer. Right. That's the thing about it is, I want you to win more than anything else, because that's, that's the fuck, where I come, come from. from the same I'm the same way. exact thing. I'm the same walk and I just, I just still see you brothers together because 
because y'all like from two different hoods. Like, mm -hmm. I just still wanna because I know we we touched on it a little bit earlier, but still, just how did y'all put it together? Like, which with, with, with y'all two together, where we was just like, yo, let's go in, let's do an album. Was it because y'all both on Def Jam, or was it just like even if y'all wasn't on Def Jam and you was yeah. on? You know, I think it stemmed from our mutual respect. Yeah, 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 that's my brother. You know what mm. I mean? And and not only that, we 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 carrying the torch for New York. You know mm. what I mean? We got to keep that thing lit and lit at a high mm. blue flame. So, mm. you know what I mean? Sometimes it is is bigger than whatever label you on or mm. whoever. You got to take some initiative mm. on yourself and and just. You know what I mean? Spark up the culture sometimes, and that's what that's, that's where we. I think this project stemmed from. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I want to say I'm excited about this project. This mm. is like a dream come did true. Did you think they would ever do it? Nah, I it? never did. I was shocked. Right. Like when I heard yeah. it, I was shocked. You know, and this um, because I think they 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 balance each other out. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's what you need, and it's it's so authentic. But it's what it's not what you would have kind of like you know just obviously put together, but it's what you would have dreamt for, and so mm. you know I look forward to it. And congratulations to yes, y'all! Yes, congratulations! Congratulations to y'all! Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on! Let me fill up! Let me fill up! Let me fill up! Let me fill up! Me fill up. Me, come on! Fat. Oh yeah! Also, That's while cool. we get the shots, yes, it's my brother. Groovy Lou's birthday. Groovy Lou's birthday. Yes. So we want to bring out a vegan cake because he's strictly yeah. vegan. That's right. Uh, Rastafari. Right. Let's do it. Happy Let's birthday do it. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Let's go black. Happy birthday to you. Let's go black. Go go go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, we sung, okay, we sung regular, then we sung the black version. Okay. Now we gotta do the Spanish version. Okay. Del cupiano feliz, del cupiano feliz, del cupiano feliz, del cupiano feliz. Hey! Yo, bro, let me just say this on behalf of Drink Champs. Thank you, thank you. You're one of the most genuine people ever in the industry, you're always the same from every different era. I felt like I know you 30 years. I can't know you 30 years, I'm only 40. <laughs> but in my mind, I know you 30 years. In my mind. And, you and, and you've been I'm a great it. guy for 30 years. You do what you gotta do. I heard about you going to Ethiopia and you know, baptizing children. In my mind, again, that's in my mind. But I know you went to Ethiopia. And I just want to baptize your children. You yeah. see, yeah. yeah. Julie Lou. That's, like, that's, how, that's how pure I now. see you. I see you as a yeah. pure yeah. soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In my mind, yeah. what you yeah. see in your mind, your that's perception is true. true. Your perception because is true. You're a great soul. You're one of them great people. You're one of them people that. You know what uh, I call him? It's like a human incident. When he come around, it's like you lit an incident. And there's yeah. this love in the air with, yeah. with GS is I, I, I definitely don't know what you mean, though. Real talk. I'm going to kind of no, throw you know that out there. You know when you light incense, yeah. you clear the air. It's love. It's but some incense stink. That's what I'm saying. No, That's why you threw me off. Those are the other ones. You got to get it from the guy with, with the shit wrapped around his head. Then you know he know he's he got the good shit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. OK. Let's make some noise for us not knowing what we're talking about right now. No, I <laughs> No, no, yes. drink up. It's finally, you're getting drunk on your no, own no, show. We love I, I, it. Yeah. We love it. You're not I, making I, any sense. No, no, we I, love I, it. Because you usually I've get never, us. I've never made any yeah, sense. let's have another no, shot. No, no, let's have another shot. I'm <laughs> in. I'm in. I'm in. We, okay, We I'm need in. to treat our guests the right okay, way. Okay, let's treat our, let's give them shots too. Come on, come on. No, 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 this is me and you. All right, I need a shot. Yeah, I got you. Oh, shot, This one? Okay. Yeah, I just had a shake. It's all together, me and you. Eyes, eyes. Eye to eye, baby. Eyes, eyes, Let's do it. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Eyes. It's going down. That's that French vanilla? Yeah. French vanilla, god damn it. Yeah. So now, listen. I see Moet just snuck up in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's get that money. <laughs> yo, Moet, y'all yo, talk to me after shit. the show. Listen, right? man, uh, listen, listen, these boys are both on um, uh, Rock Nation. Both of y'all on Rock Nation, right? Mm. Mm. How is that for, for, for both of y'all? Technically, yes. I'm locked with 
the locks is on Rock Nation. Mm. You know what I mean? They have a they have something on the table for me mm. that we, you know, it's yet to be. They just signed my ride carry out. Yeah. Like Shout out to the MC. There, she owed me a plaque. You know what I mean? I got yeah. some history. I got Congratulations some history. to Rock Nation. Such Congratulations. A, such a, a great movement. Great movement for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Us to managing rock. our own talent. That's right. Looking out for each other. It's a Ace beautiful of thing. Got to, you know, they got to send something to drink chance. Oh, no, we, yeah, we, we gonna get the Ace of Space. We gonna get all these, get all, all these hip hop black owned brands. is gonna yo, be up here. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna you know support what? each other. That's a great, that's a great segment because where we had Hov just drop his 444 album, right? And he's, it, it, he's speaking like we should. He's it, the, that line was, "How dare I drink Belvedere when Puff when got Puff Syrah?" Got Syrah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, 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 what was that moment meant for you? Um. Because I know that's your brother, but so also he's still love. one of the biggest artists to fuck out there. Man, I mean, I think he was in such a spiritual zone when he was doing the whole album. He was just living his truth, you know what I'm saying? And like, there's no way that if we live in our truth, we can't love it. We're not supposed to love each other. We mm. don't stick together. Like, mm. like, that's not our truth. What's going mm. on right now is not our truth. Mm. And the thing everybody has to understand is like, some of us out there, we actually set the price for you. You know what I'm saying? And when you come, you'll be able to set the price for the next generation. But right now, I'm setting the price for you. So if you go and you rock with somebody else, you're just lowering your cut, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is black magic at its fullest. Imagine what they, they ain't not gonna pay for it if it don't come this uncut. Woo. So it's like, yo, I got to have the price high so everybody motherfucking eats. But it's a situation where we have to be conscious of that. I don't think people do it on purpose, you know what I'm saying? It's well, not really all the way like that. But we have to enter in this mode of consciousness to know what we're doing with our money because our money is not getting put back in our communities and then we begging and scrapping and scraping. And I'm not really one of them niggas. So if your motherfucking buy some rock, I'm giving all the money to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm going to keep like a little bit for myself because I like the ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm saying most of the shit it's is going to be back. going to making changes, opening yeah. school and doing different things. But it's, it's just about having that economic power. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right now, Hip hop has the economic power, and we gotta make quality brands, quality records, quality entertainment, but we gotta like own our shit and support our own shit. You know what I'm saying? So now look, so look, this is a prime example. A lot of them cash shit that y'all drink, they voted for Trump. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You drinking they shit. Nick's sending donations. I'm sending donations to motherfucking change for change, Howard University. I'm not, I'm just, I'm I'm really, I am trying to sell this black love to y'all. I don't want to get it twisted because I know the war that we in. Mm. And I know that if we don't get our paper and we don't understand how to work together, then we just going to be in the same thing, man. Under thinking we have crumbs, thinking we rich when we poor. Even the rich, we only have 1% of the wealth mm. in the United States. Mm. But we control 70% of the culture. Mm. That's great. Something ain't right there. Yeah, we gotta get We had 1% of wealth. You know what other time we had 1% of wealth? The day we became free slaves. Ain't nothing even changed since then. So we have a, mm. a, a new generation of entrepreneurs and go-getters that we gotta rock with each other right now because it's like time is of the essence. And the thing is, you can switch that shit over real quick. You can take power real motherfucking quick. And hip-hop got that shit. And, um, you know, so whether it's Ace of Spades or what, or what, um, you know, Ross is doing with Bel Air, Bel -Air. what y'all doing with Tiger, anything it is, at least you, you, you at least need to have the choice. <laughs> huh? don't, don't let the Tiger Bone thing out the back. Keep that No, no, I'm, ta up. I'm talking about right, whatever your, your, right. your vibe is, you know what I'm saying? Did, yeah, yeah. It's just that. You gotta support, basically what you're saying is, there's a choice, you can't tell me Ciroc don't taste better than any of that other shit. You know what I'm no, saying? I, I'm a Ciroc Yeah, 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 yeah. If you, can't, you, you know what it is though, it's, it's just, and it's not just with the Ciroc, it's just right. with everything. Yeah, we should I, I think we're we are becoming more conscious. I'm not saying we should be. I think we right. are, and we just we're, and we're on we're on the right path right now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really have no criticism. But when when it comes to making change, we're gonna need some money. You know what was my dream? And this is some real shit. Like, I, and it's crazy. I was in Amsterdam. Um, Amsterdam, Holland, obviously, right? And I'm there with Styles P. And I walked into a spot, and so you can't buy weed in one spot. You can buy the weed in one spot, 
But then the other spot, you can't buy weed, but you could drink. You understand what I'm trying to say? So you, you buy the weed spot on one side, right? I mean, excuse me, you buy the weed on one side, mm. and then if you want to smoke the weed, you go across to the bar, but you can't buy no weed at that bar, right? And But if you have weed, you can smoke, but, and you can drink. But it's the same two people who own the bar. So it's like Fab owns the dispensary, and then, the per, and then Jada Kiss across the street owns the actual bar that where you want to go smoke your shit. And I was just like, that was so genius to me. Like, it was so simple, because I told you, I'm, I'm from special education. Mm-hmm. I apologize. So I look at things in a simple way. And I was like, damn, why can't we figure that out? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Nice, like, man, eat. Real like, easy. Like, look, you, I could, I could sell you the bars. That's, that's that that's Willie Lynch. Let's call it what it is. That's it's that so Willie Lynch. Uh, Niggas need to stop cooning. Right now, it's an emergency situation. <laughs> Niggas need to stop cooning, including myself. You know what I'm saying? Nothing off me. We all need to motherfucking get focused and get this money. Now where nigga put my own bag at? Mr. Lee, where, Yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag I like at? when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag Daddy, at? Daddy, I like Mr. when you're oh, you scrambling right and ahead. scraping for no, no, shit. No, 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 I got I notes like and that. shit. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah, notes Yeah, there you go. Shit. Got your notes. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go over that one. Make a that wish. One? Just oh. blow it out. It's your no, birthday no. every day. Every day is your birthday on Drink okay. Champs, God damn it. <laughs> I'm in. Okay. We ain't fucking with that. I got notes now. I'm trying to get my life together. <laughs> I want to taste the vegan Yo, cake. Fendi, what's going on? What did y'all think about the... Ex- excuse me, what y'all think about the Eminem freestyle? That's a good one. I, I think he used his platform and his voice to speak. I liked to, it. To project what he thought and I just spark think, up everybody to speak up. You know what I mean? I wish it would have came not at the BET before that. Mm. I wish the BET would have been the second one. Mm-hmm. Or something. Mm. I just I thought it was cool because you wouldn't thought Eminem to do it at BET. Oh, no, but Eminem's a genius, and he got an album coming out, mm. and a lot of things is lining up for the marketing of it. You know what I mean, not taking nothing away. He's a lyrical monster. But what he but, was saying wasn't was didn't he, you know, no. Think it everything he, said. he was saying was right. I just wish he said it before that. Mm. Mm. Me personally. But we can't really be mad at the message. Never, the message never. Came, yeah. I, I just yeah. told you. He's talking about I the impact it. that it would have on the world right. if it wasn't tied to the BET Awards. Yeah. And like, it just seemed a little bit. You know, bit helping out some black people on that. On was that was super appropriate to me. No, 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 yeah. no. L- listen, I'm not saying yeah. nothing negative. Okay. I'm, we, talking about, we have to talk about our global perception. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. And it's just, the well, only thing he was saying is that, that, I think the BT Awards was a good idea, though. I think I was it was a good idea, idea but I you, understand you how you feel. Do you think it was feel. appreciation or appropriation where he was using that platform because it was you know, a black You know, the way, when we be doing that, all that whining and marching, they just be looking at us like we whining and marching. So I think that's what he's saying, that he would have rather him do it on CNN so it wouldn't look like, you know what I'm saying? Because what, 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 you wouldn't what have been is. able to do that on the AMAs. They wouldn't even give... They wouldn't even gave you that now segment to do, it. do that. Point. Interesting point. They wouldn't even gave you the two fifty seconds, and then I mean, they wouldn't you, let a... you even say that type of message. message on that platform. I'm gonna tell you what I thought immediately. Not that anybody's asking, <laughs> but um. No, it's, it's your show today, Jack. No, it's all good. No, no, no. This you is it. this is appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. For me, the first thing I felt. I was like, I was like, thank God that M did that shit. Yeah, that I'm shit proud. was really, really dope. Right. Then the second thing I was like, people gotta stop beating us to the punch to take care of us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I was talking with Bono the other day. I was like, thank you for everything you did to us. That's, that's, that's but I'm, right. you know, I'm gonna have to beat you. I'm gonna have to step into that zone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 I'm talking about. Other people care for our people more than we care, we care for, our for our people. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying everything beautiful. I'm saying thank God for Bono. Thank God for Eminem. I don't, I can't lie and say I don't wish it was Jada Kiss. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish it was, I don't wish it was Fab. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. And it's just like, um, we have to understand how powerful, you know, our world is. They making sure our world don't fall apart. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know, they seeing it and they understand the magic in it, but we not understanding our magic. Right. So it's like that most ferocious thing that you can kick and utilize that time on TV. You know what I'm saying? We, I just feel like we got to utilize that time, right. you know? Would BET more. would have gave me or Jada Kiss the platform to do that, or what? Or they did it because it was Eminem doing it, and of course they looking at it as a moment for themselves too. No, I don't think so. I think they would have had Eminem on the cipher. I think they would have still had him on the cipher. No, I'm saying would they let us do it? Mm. Would they would have given us if that they platform the to do it? The content that you was going to spit prior to that. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Mm. I think at the climate of the so. world, they would have let anybody do it that wanted to touch that particular mm. topic. Yeah. I mean, overall, yeah. overall, it has to be something that fuels us to be first for us. You know what I'm saying? And I know that may feel uncomfortable, and everybody's undid so many different records. You know what I'm saying? But we got to be clever with our entertainment so we can keep on shocking the world, you know? And like, shout out, shout out to Colin, Ka Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, uh, it wasn't Colin Kaepernick at the pre-Thanksgiving uh, uh, dinner at the crib? Was he, wasn't he there? Or I was bugging up. Um, Are you not supposed to talk about that? I apologize. It's, no, it's all so good. Yeah. Come so on, this is big chance. You've been here before. <laughs> no, so nah. you can't talk about that? No, I can't talk okay, about that. Okay, right, my bad, my bad. I can't talk about that right now. My bad, my bad. You know, I use my inside. You know, you know family, you get to see all types of crazy <laughs> hey, I'm so things. Sorry, you know I'm what I'm saying? Sorry. Yeah, I gotta get my life together. I gotta get my life together. So, <laughs> so Fab, how was your birthday, man? <laughs> yeah, how was and your and birthday? What, was your, what was your wish mm. for this year? Um. Health, my birthday was cool. wealth, yeah. knowledge yourself. Why stop like that it. over your cake, brother? Uh, I like the sim I like the I like I like vibes. You know what I mean? I like a good vibe more than like wanting for anything. Or, like you know what I mean? So I got a cool vibe. I, 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 I spent some some of the time with my kids. Um, I went out, grabbed a bag, and I spent some more time with my kids. And, you know what I mean? I felt like I was a milestone age. I didn't, I ain't, I might have a party and we had parties, but I was more like just trying to just vibe, like just see where I, look, look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. man I miss but I'm talking about for you. your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, and no, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes, brother. Oh, eyes, 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 eyes. I understand. I understand. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Eyes, 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 e
that sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So Tyrese kept now, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. Tyrese keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. We're like, you can go to church next week. You know what I'm saying? Sending your, send your thing. You know what I'm saying? But we in Vegas. Don't be bringing God <laughs> into this shit. Don't church. bring a God, yeah, God into this situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, F. Gary Gray is like, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got um, Ray J. Oh, so Ray J is like, just really like, Feeling like Ray J right now, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember what type of joint like it Ray, was when Ray I'm J saying was he's home. at home. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, Ray J is right. here at home with his he's brother. He's my friend. I love him. Daddy, we in Vegas. He's he's the friend that's feeling it to the tenth degree. Mm. Like, yo, <laughs> check this out, niggas. I told y'all, niggas. And also we had his back, so he was good. Huh. And so boom. We rocking through the night, you know what I'm saying? Me and Fab, we usually mother brush toes at the fights or the games, you know what I'm saying? Jada's always there in the cut, you know what I'm saying, with his own tribe. I'm telling y'all so you can visualize it, you know what I'm saying? Because Jada don't like it. Jada like laying in the cut smoking and talking and whispering in the raspy voice. This is really what's going on at the joint. So I'm up in there, you know, and um, we decide to have a dinner, you know, and we have to fight, and we just signal we're gonna go eat, whatever, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. We signaling our shit, you know, because we there, we there, in there heavy. Ray J so playing, everybody, playing, no, you know? no, everybody come to the dinner. Like dinner's on me, you know what I'm okay. saying? I like to, I like to buy Pump dinners. Past the dinner. Yeah, so we had the Anybody dinner after the, the fight, dinner, okay. dinner, last man. minute, because we bumped into each other. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, my mouth a little dry. Let me drink some more. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up from when he, we went to the dinner. Okay. Yeah, there you go. We talking at the dinner. I think I had cracked a joke or something about Ray J being on Floyd's. You know where they had like 24-7? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a piano. It was a piano. Yeah, because yeah, I, I just said it, that but it was, now. Nobody co me. And, and then Lil like, Wayne had know. like this lines, uh, uh, get you, yeah, leave you dead in the living room. room. Lil Wayne. Yeah. Who had lines back? No, he, no, Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne said this line in a rap before. Leave you dead in the living room. Oh, okay. It was up. Rap line. Right, but I switched this. it for Look, Twitter. We just had oh, okay, Dream okay. on here. And Dream was talking about doing cocaine? Yeah, Dream said, let's what? do lines. Listen, so you gotta be careful. Man. Oh, yeah. Got... My man, listen. You tried to make this Coke Champs? <laughs> coke Champs. No, coke no. Champs is no, a, whole nother, that's a whole nother podcast. No, that's, I, that's my nigga. That's, yeah. all. <laughs> so that's my nigga. I love him. Okay. I just didn't think an RV nigga was gonna say that. I thought wow. Bobby Brown was, mm -hmm. that was his shit. Yeah. But Dream came on here. He was crazy. But continue. Okay. So, Puff has the dinner. We at yeah. the dinner talking about me tweeting uh -huh. Ray J singing in the living room. Mm. You know, it was a funny Twitter moment at that time. It, I don't know what this year this was, but it was when Twitter was popping. It was funny and whatever. Uh -huh. Ray J walk in. Mm -hmm. Everybody, oh, yo, laughing from the, from the night. Ray J cool at this point. He like, yo, Fab, you killed me last night. It was cool. Everything was cool. Oh, he, and that's the exact words? Puff you fucking with me? him a little bit. Yeah, like, you killed me on, like, on, you know, on some joke shit. Right. I'm full Dame Dash. Yeah, ah! yeah. Puff, 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 Puff laughing at him. Kevin Hart laughing at him. Full everybody, Dame Dash. Everybody having fun everybody with saw it. Everybody saw it, though. It ain't uh -huh. even... Yeah, it it's was, your, it was it's like the going joke, viral but Twitter, they saw bro. it anyway. Right. They seen yeah, it. they That's seen why it. That was so funny. Like yeah. when niggas seen it, it was like a like a like a funny thing. Like yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's a funny guy. Right. He does. He, if you do something funny, we gonna laugh. Yeah. So Ray J leaves. Mm -hmm. We had a dinner. We laughed. Everything cool at the dinner. Ray J leaves. I don't know what happened. Ray J bumps into Kevin Hart in his hotel. This sounds crazy, fam. Kevin Hart calls me, says, yo, I just seen Ray J. This nigga is bugging. <laughs> he got a tight ass red hood on. Keep talking about he got indoor pools and outdoor pools. Nah. And six, he... seven Rolls Royces outside. Come with him. Oh, it's the man. money team. He's screaming oh, all kinds of shit. Fab, you this didn't Kevin know Hart. The, you, you, you knew the pre-balls before he laid his 16? Yes. This you is, knew the pre-balls? This is Kevin Hart telling me this. <laughs> telling you. I'm like. Yeah. What are you talking about, Kev? Okay. He said, that's what I was asking Ray J. What are you talking about? I like, all right, cool. We supposed to meet up. I got a show in Vegas. I got a show. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, take it over, King. <laughs> we had a show. Me and Styles and Fab 
got a show at the Palms, or right? It was mm -hmm. the Palms. It, was the palms. it must the palms. be nice. Hip hop has been very right? nice to us. Yeah. We got a show at the Palms. We at the player. Palms again. Ah, yeah. Picking up a bag. Right? Congratulations. So we go on. Me and Styles go on. Fab is going on after us. Yeah, he going on. We going on after. So we just get off. We coming down the corridor. Our dressing room is to the left. To the right is Floyd and Fifth and Ray J. We in the we holla at yeah, we holla at we say what's up to Floyd and Fifth and Ray J. Fab's coming up. He got to go on in a minute. He's hollering at Floyd yeah, and Fifth. Wait, let me tell you what that conversation was right there. All right, go ahead. Then I'll let get me pick back. Pick it up right from, back up. Yeah, pick go it ahead. Up, go ahead. Go ahead. I walk in. Pick it up, yeah. Pick it up. No, go ahead, look, ooh, groove, 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 yeah, Fab came in, talking to Floyd and Fifth, Fab talking to Floyd and Fifth. Hey, yo, Rastafari, Rastafari, hey, yo, Fab walked in, don't do that, yeah, that's what I said, that's what I said, let pick it up, I was talking to Floyd, that's why I was picking up from right there. This like this guy gotta pick it up from right there. Look at that, nigga, Fab pick it up, Fab nigga, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 bro. Can't kill him. Bro, bro, bro. Come tell the story. Bro, 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 Listen, oh, bro, oh, bro, 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 like, but don't let it go. So then he taps Ray J. Ray J like must have been setup. telling Floyd and 50, yo, this nigga Fab was talking shit about us. He said the money team ain't shit. We ain't shit. Da -da -da -da. He just whatever. So 50 says, Ray, what's this shit that you said Fab was saying? He's like, Ray J turn around now. He's stuck. Like, he got he to gotta back up whatever he was telling them. But I'm right there. So Ray is like, Yo, Fab, we the money team. You can't disrespect us, Fab. We the money team. I'm like, what, Ray J? What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What, what happened? We got six Rolls Royces outside, Fab. We got indoor pools, outdoor pools. I'm like, Ray J, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> this is what I'm saying like to him. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Then I looked at him. He got the tight red hoodie on that Kevin Hart told me on the phone. Jesus. He said, yo, he got a tight red hoodie on and flip flops. I looked down, I seen the flip flops. I looked up, he got the tight red hoodie on. So in my head, I said, oh shit, this is the shit Kevin Hart was talking about when he said he was bugging out here. <coughs> and but Kevin about. Hart is a comedian, so you're not really taking it serious, correct? I didn't correct? even understand it. It only makes <coughs> sense what he's saying. So now I see, he, so now I see, all right, this is the, Bugging Ray J, bugging Ray J right now that we're talking to. I'm like, yo, Ray J, he like, yo, Fab, you disrespecting Floyd, you disrespecting 50, you disrespecting the money team. Well, we not having that. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to follow it while he's even saying to me. I'm trying to see what it's getting to. But then he like, so I look at Floyd and 50 and they still trying to follow along. Everybody's trying to follow along with Ray going. But he's not making no sense. So now we like, Ray's like, yo. Let me get back in yeah, from check, the outside. Check, check, Go. Yeah. This is the outside. This, is a, this now, story go from, from After 10 we angles. said what's up to Floyd and Fifth, because our dressing but room is right here. No, I'm with nah. Styles and my other. They just got off stage. He got off. He got to go I just on. came in they the building the when they was getting off. The me, field. Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah, it's a coincidence. Me, Kevin like, Hart. I'm the only Puff, nigga that Meek wouldn't Mill, do Meek 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 and Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we this is what we do. Niggas came to see us in Vegas. We together, man. So move. Keep it going. Look. We said what's up to right now. We said what's up to Floyd and Fifth, right? And Ray J. But our dressing room is right here. Now I see Fab come up talking to Floyd. And this is the locks, not just. No, just me and P. Smooch wasn't there for this particular. I see. I see Fab say what's up to Floyd and Fifth. And now he's, he has some words with Ray J, but Ray J was bugging. He got that same outfit 
head to toe that he's saying the red flip flops with the red Do you, do you red understand Adidas, what that means? Right. We need to make clear. I don't think we're breaking it down for I don't the boy and girls out there. Yeah, so, oh. If he had on the same clothes, that means he been up since then. So that means he's on a different stratosphere. We in Vegas. <laughs> now listen. That's a fight. Let's just call it. No, listen. He right. And you got on the same shit. Cause this wardrobe changes in Vegas. You got on the yeah. same shit. Fast is also looking at him like the look, the, the, look. the red joint. Oh, oh, yo, my. check it out. The <laughs> shit he said from Kevin Hart, his outfit is clicking. <laughs> it's absolutely right. I can witness. He had the red flip flops with the red Adidas hoodie, the whole suit on. Mm -hmm. Now. After Fab's talking to Fifth and Floyd, and he acknowledged Ray J, and then he seen he was bugging, he's back talking to Fifth and Floyd. I ain't know Fifth was holding his hand. Now, what do you mean from, holding his hand? No, because he know. said Fifth, Fifth gave kept his, he oh, gave him a dap, and he's holding oh, it. Oh, like, okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Was okay. right. So, we looking at it. It looks like, from, our, from what we looking at, it's Fab talking to Fifth. Ray J's trying to talk to Fab, but he ain't, he's, he's ignoring him now because he's, he's wired. Mm -hmm. So now he's going like this to spit. Mm -hmm. so Few who, hits to the chest. Ray J's trying to get his attention, but so he's, still, he talking, talking to me he's like, still talking to Fifth and Floyd. He's tapping his chest. One too many. Yeah, he got this one clicked in my head. Him. What this the one clicked in my head while he's talking to me. Right. What's I wrong said, with this Ray thing? Ray J is pressing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I went back to the hood for a second. I said, "Oh shit, Ray J is pressing me right now." So, so that's once and then that he's clicked in me his mind, he fast. thought about it. He pushed him. Now, when he push him, his spins glasses fly or his shades went over there because, you know, he pushed Ray J. I'm not sure if Ray J pushed him back, but then the security intertwined. But Ray J went ballistic after that. <laughs> he started calling out gang shit, all of that. One of my men grabbed him and I bought him in our lot and I'm dressing. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Well, what type so of push? Walk... Before you go, Puff, okay. what type no. of push was it? I need to know. Listen, nah, I need to know. Let me tell you the actual push. Okay. The actual push, because he, he had on a hoodie. I pushed him, but I grabbed <laughs> his hoodie too. An <laughs> old school move and pulled this hoodie over. So so push with the grab. So I got oh, it. Yeah. 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 Be the I'm going to be all the way 100 up. Yeah. Now we square more. Publicly like hey, yo, but check this out, though. Ray J, you with us. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If your hood got pulled over, you left that out when you told me what happened, nigga. I know your your hood got pulled over, nigga. The nigga pulled the hood over your head with your team behind you? Yes, sir. The hood gets pulled out. Sorry, man. But I ain't I didn't swing on him, I ain't do nothing else to him. I just grabbed him and had him by his hood. That's some Brooklyn shit. That's you got automatically. Let him go. Different. That's when he start doing the wild and shit. Yeah, when I let him go, he start crazy. going. My man Aziz no. grabbed him and pulled him in our dressing room till he calmed down a little bit. He couldn't even get out the hoodie joint though. Okay. You can't get out of that. That's like a move. That's like a real <laughs> like somebody pull your hoodie like this. You can't you can't do nothing. You try to squirm around and get out of that. You can't get out of that. So I had that. That, yeah, but did, I wasn't trying to like hit on because I was like just really just relax, relax. You was relaxed. Let's make some noise for Fabio. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, he gave him too many of these. I never seen him get out of. Nah, that's how you know your, your homie is fucked up when he just keep. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, was yeah, yeah he definitely was yeah, fucked yeah, up again. Yeah, and I even said, those yo, two. Ray J, he stop tr touching me. Yeah, Ray, Ray J, stop touching me. Nah, yeah, he, he, he said. Me. Ray and he J said, stopped. You know, oh, yeah. When he did this interview, he said, that nigga told me don't touch him, and I touched him. Like, he just, that's what, he just <laughs> well, he kept doing, and that's when that. it escalated. He okay, touched, so like, I told him, you stop touching me. Can I, can I just give you all my part, because you got to understand Oh, how. we definitely don't know your part. No, no, Take no. Your I part. mean, from there, it's all his fault. from there, the dinner, I, he sparked the dinner. Hey, yo, yo, so Ooh. it was all my fault. I was, I'm at the dinner. I'm pushing him, you know what I'm saying? We getting it like that. And then I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna come out like after I, I kept amping them up. 
You know what I'm saying? You was yeah. Ray J I up. kept amping yeah. Ray J up, just yeah. on the shit, not to like but whatever, that's whatever. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, just fucking around, like, like, like we all just like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like a crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, but Ray J didn't feel no way at the dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so we was all together. We kept on fucking with him, and then I don't, I don't know. And, and, then, the, and then the drinks was going crazy, and in Vegas sometimes, you know, things end drinks the because because it wasn't like him. You say he kept on fucking with him. Who you mean? Ray J kept fucking with Fab. No, no, no. Oh, we kept talking about Ray J. Oh, you, you, yo, guys. Everybody, like, a, oh, like, so like, 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 twenty rappers it because he's fam, though. He's and fam, so we fucking with him like he's fam. You know what I'm saying? We're okay. not knowing, yeah. like, you know, he may have been partying a little much right. because he's up from that night, from that dinner to backstage. He's still up. The park to him. Hold on. And then I walk in after this. I walk in after this, and I think I'm looking at Baby Tupac. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knowing what's going on. He's screaming out the the craziest gang, yeah, all types of shit. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, what what happened? <laughs> what went on? And so it's clicking to me that, oh man, all that shit started from us <laughs> fucking around at the party. Damn, I done fucked shit up. And then the shit kept going. And you know, I got them on the phone, Ray J apologizing. Being a cool nigga, I was. But well, what was I the piano doing, shit that the joke show. started from in the first place? He was on the Floyd 24 7. Ah, I thought he was on the piano. Puff piano. At Floyd crib or something. So he was like on Floyd crib. Yeah. It, then, was it was light. It was light. It wasn't even a real funny. tap, a real yeah, tap that we would give each other. Yeah. It wasn't really something like no, in front of your girl. I still did the show too. <laughs> yeah, he still did the show. Too. After that whole little thing, I went, still did the show. I had an after party after it, right? Uh. Ray J showed up to the after party, I heard, with Suge Knight trying to get in the after party. They didn't let him in. And then that's when he called up to the Breakfast Club and did the famous rant. That okay. The rant was, tell the rant me, is special tell, to this day. I listened to it like a couple months ago and it was still, it's still, yeah. Right. yeah. You got this beat. You have mm -hmm. no idea. Ray J is your home, correct? Mm -hmm. I was cool with Ray J up until then. Cool. She happened. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever. And then you show up to your after party. And then later on, he, he, Ray J. He's my nigga. I'm Ray J pulled up to that. But he pulled up with Suge. He pulled up with Suge. What, 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 what was the thoughts? You was trying to press you again? I guess. He thought he was doing a double press? A double oh, press. A double press. Ooh. Your shit get wrinkled again and you press it again? That's what he was going to do. Damn. I guess. Ray J, I ain't know it was like that you did that. This is new news. You got a lot of gangsta in you. Like, the double press, double man. Press. And then what was the first thoughts in your mind? Man, Ray, you Ray J is a lucky guy. I didn't see him at the party thing. Okay. This is I just heard. I, I heard. Mm -hmm. And at the time, four, it was 4 in the morning in Vegas time, but it was 7 a.m. New York time. Mm -hmm. So he called. When they didn't let him in, he called up to the breakfast club still hype on no, or whatever on he one, was clearly. on yeah whatever like, he was like, on he, he, he clearly still was on the breakfast club he's on one definitely what was where were you at in your life was, when you heard I that i was laid up and then i um i woke up in the morning to like yeah. my phone what laid up just old, in a bed yeah. just like laid yeah, down okay. in the bed that's what it is. Young niggas. That's what it is. Laid up can be some crazy. Laid in. Their minds are crazy. That's all it is. Yeah, don't let it go crazy. So and you kept you kept it cool. I kept it cool. I went back to my room, laid up. I woke up in the morning. My phone was on fire. When when you when you go viral or any type of when you wake up, your phone is. This is before Instagram. This is yeah, really smoke, live smoke coming up from yeah, your phone. You're still like, Yo, what the fuck? Niggas. Give me my light up. Somewhere you got my light up. Yeah, New York niggas Brooklyn. always still <laughs> lighters, yeah. man. Yeah, no. Brooklyn. Yeah, you be hanging out with Two you things that don't make it. He had your lighter. A lighter and a charger? A lighter and a charger, <laughs> nigga? Charger. No, Jaden took my charger. This is the crazy shit. That's nigga plugged up. He, that was Mr. Lee. No, no. Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee with my phone and Nori's charger. I know these young niggas. I never told that Ray J story live for like that. Oh, no, I got that. you. We got, we got plenty. What was it? Nine lives? Nine lives. We got plenty of pre-rolls. And I've been in your cribs too many times. You like the pre-rolls. This is what the shit would hate. That this definitely doesn't happen Look in at my that. crib. No. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> 
Look at that. Look, this is how Ooh. we treat you by drink champs. Oh, man. Thanks. Let me get that. No problem. Yeah, yeah. You do no whatever problem. you want to do. I have one too many. Yeah, no. You do whatever you want to do. <laughs> drink responsibly. Your puff, you seen Steve Rickman right there? Yeah, man. You see, the right. legend, Look, man. The legend. Steve Rickman, man. Mm. Steve, mm -hmm. I watched a doc mm -hmm. on you. you, you they got, somebody did a documentary. and, and Has Steve Rickman done you. a drink champ chat? So Steve Rickman has wow, not done a drink He has all of the knowledge, That's baby. I think, I, seen, I, seen. I, think, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's, Steve it's got Rickin, your whole come story. Come over here for one second, Steve. Did you I've invent this drink team? I've seen that same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. My nigga. We need to talk about that. Mike you up. Mike you up. We need to talk Mark. about that. Mark. You know why? Yeah, wow. talk Fat about Joe. Because they say bad boy invented the street team. That's what they say. They said, yeah, yeah, I'm saying we got to talk about that. Come on, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, I'm up. Look, 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 look. Don't, don't tell me that. Let's go see these other niggas before. You was on, you was on no. loud, right? No, 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 never. Never? Listen, but listen, don't tell me. Let me go see Tommy. Other Tommy. Niggas boy. before. Let me, let me just tell on y'all. Huh? I'm just telling y'all. Don't louder? see these other niggas before me. Oh. You see, when I gave you an episode, we got Steve Griffin. Who's the other nigga? Come on. Oh, he's in my life. You know any of them. Oh, right. Right. Listen, right. man, you want to you know, you you break black history. He's going for his. Let him you go. Wanna, go, you go, you nigga. Go. No, but Listen, I just let me just tell you something. All the way, you, don't, you don't understand. You, know I mean? yeah. you don't understand. I, I tried to make that. New, new, old cock, typhoons, and I said, we're going to do it in L.A. But I figured it's a different vibe. You're a different vibe, though. I'm going to do it. The You're not that, like, like, like what you said, you said they had wine or something there, right? Like, yeah, this yeah. is a different vibe. Yeah, them niggas, they gave y'all water. They gave us water. water. I gotta do this, and, though. And they, they gave us water. They, right. they had wine. Oh, yeah. Steve, Steve, right? Rick. Right. Make some more of a Steve motherfucking Rick, no, though. It was no blowing. It was a yeah. whole different vibe. I told him. Steve Rick and my brother. In case you don't know, Steve Ripken signed Mob D. Steve Ripken signed Big Pun. Steve Ripken signed Wu. Tang motherfucking clan. How yeah, crazy is it for us to be here? And he's a brother. He's, he's a, brother. a brother. No matter what you're seeing, yeah, he is he's, a brother to a his bro core. His yeah. kids is black. Yeah. He's black. He's black. Yeah. Facts. I think you was the first. It's Nia Layton. You was the first one, right? Wow. <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry, I went, I went crazy. Yo, wow. I went hey, crazy. Yo. I didn't know about that. Yeah, what? I, I did. I did. A lot of little, told like, stories. The first one. Come on, there. Steve. Come on, give us a high five. Come on. We all love some line like that. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's just admit it and just I keep watch it moving. Love basketball. Yeah, 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 you gotta, it's, it's hey, fantastic. yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, they say that bad boy invented the street team. Mm. But let's get to it. Yeah, but the but the fact of the matter is, Steve Rifkin. Mm invented the street team. Mm. Came and let me get some information. Always was a brother to share. And, um, you know, we just really was able to implement his teachings. And I think it really has given birth to a, another level of entrepreneurialism, you know what I'm saying? How we could go directly to our community. And I would have to say he's, he's the founding father of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Steve Rifkin. <laughs> Yo, that Bad Boy Street Team was very aggressive in that era, though. Yeah, mm. oh, no question. So yeah. how, how, how was that, like, actually inventing the street team? How did you think of that? Um, not that I, really, I think that's what, what, it, what it's not, was trying to say. It's, yeah. it's not really how I thought about it. So what happened was I got kicked out of school. Mm. Um, and my family was in the record business. You know, my dad, you know, discovered James Brown, put out the first rap record. And my grandfather... Oh, yeah, that was a light stunt. Oh, my ass. That was crazy. <laughs> that was no, I mean, yeah. like the way he delivered it. But it delivered yeah, it, was it, was it was light. Yeah, you, it was light. You, I wanted to be so But he said, my dad. What did you say? Yeah, Produce yeah. for James? No, nah, discovered. Yeah, yeah, I don't discovered. Want to, I, 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 I was I'm in, in the, doing something presently at the moment. Okay. And I need, um, I need to break out. Okay. That's and I don't want to be rude, you know? I just want to stop by. And give love. Yeah. Love you did you did your job, brother. Yeah. If that's what yeah. you came to do, yeah. Justice was served. Man, I brother just wanted love. to stop by. You yeah. see, I didn't want to take up yeah. too much of y'all time. No, 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 no. Overstay my welcome. You I'll see y'all later. Oh, right? now you know. <laughs> I just wanna give you, you all of you guys your thoughts on Prodigy. Obviously, I got I'm gonna start with you, Steve Rifkin, because you the guy who actually signed him and brought him to stardom. So I just wanted to hear your thoughts on Prodigy. I mean, when I got the call, it was, um, 
I was in Miami. Wow. <clears throat> and my daughter was taking a road test. A road test? To get her license? To get her license. I still don't got my license. Let's make some noise for that. Yeah. 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 Still looking for the hookup. Go ahead. So um, my old partner kept on calling two, three times, and I see, you, you know. You see your old partner, he's talking about Richard. R Rich Isaacson. Rich Isaacson. Right? So he, he keeps on calling. I'm like, so when he calls more than twice, mm -hmm. I just know something's not right. And mm -hmm. so, but Rich is also my childhood best friend. We've been best friends since we're eight years old. Mm -hmm. So I just think maybe his mother, you know, just we're, we're at that age. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I, so I pick up the phone and my daughter's walking in from the test. So I don't know if she passed this, you know, so I'm focusing on her. And he said, P died. And I just, I almost passed out. You know, I had open heart surgery four months ago. So I was just getting my strength back wow. at, at the time. So when it, when it told me, I hung up the phone, she gave me a thumbs up, and I called Ray. Ray Kwan? Yeah. Okay. Because they just did a show together in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, um, it, it, it killed me. Mm -hmm. I mean, his, you know, his birthday and my brother had the same birthday. Mm. God bless. So, you know, it was always, you know, we always knew when it was his birthday, you know, when we spoke three, four times a year mm. after I left Loud. Um, and that was really, you know, it took me for a... Super spin. Yeah. That's Loud on a, off of the show thing, because... Because you had, had just performed, um, you had did Hip Hop Honors, right? Yeah. Uh, and you I, honored Pete. This yeah. is why this is a question, yeah. I was um, definitely a fan of Mob Deep. Grew up listening to Mob Deep, going to school every day, listening to Mob Deep and your Walkman, that kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, I had went to a Raekwon and Ghost show in New York, and when I went to the show, it just took me back to growing up, listening to all of these albums. And I had made it from that point. I said, yo, I'm going to go to all of the acts that I grew up listening to, going to school, listening to. I wanted to go to their show and see them in their habitat and with their fans and they, you know what I mean? I wanted to do that. Like I had never d done that. I had never been to uh, uh, a Ray and Ghost show. I had never been to, you know, different artists, Black Moon, different, different guys that I grew up listening to. Just go to their show and see them in that vibe. And I'm, I'm sorry, fam, I'll cut you off. You see how respectful that shit is? What he's saying, like, like trying to learn the art. Mm -hmm. So I said, I, from Ray and Ghost, I said, yo, I'm going to all of the, what's the name? So one of them I wanted to see was Mob Deep. Mm. You know, and I had seen them in bits and pieces. They even came out on one of my sets before at Summer Jam, all kind of mm. stuff. So, but I wanted to go in their world mm -hmm. and see their Mob Deep fans. Like, you know what I mean? So that same tour, that Vegas one, I had looked up the thing. I seen it was coming to Newark, mm. to New Jersey. I said, I'm going to go. See, and that show had actually had a few. Uh, you talking about the Art of Rap tour that that's they, what did, it was? They, just, they just did New York yeah. like a few weeks no, ago, didn't no, they? I was actually at that the, the Vegas show. That that thing I I seen with the Vegas show. Uh, if you talking about the Art of Rap when Prodigy it's died, it, yeah, that's the tour yeah. that they were on. But yeah, yeah. it was a couple. Was of, it was Raekwon and Ghostface, I think. I think it was Mob Deep, and I think it was a couple other acts. Yeah. But I was looking up the Mob Deep show mm -hmm. when I could go to the next Mob Deep show. And the next show on that tour that I could go to was Newark, New Jersey. So I'm wow. like, yo, I'm going to go to that tour. And when he passed, I was like, God. Like, you know what I mean? And it kind of emphasized more on why I want to catch these shows and catch, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just was like, it, it, it was crazy that he passed right before that, the show coming back to Jersey. So what was that feeling like when VH1 reached out to you? Was it VH1? Oh, yeah, VH1 and and you oh. know and Hav Hav Havoc was oh, uh, Hav. was a part of it too, and okay. he was, you know he know you know how much love I have for Mob and mm -hmm. you know um, you know he 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 like yo he was he was one of the people that I could really see doing this like you know what I'm saying like I right. it's not too many people that you you would even want to call on like you don't want to put the wrong wrong and, piece and, in the wrong and let's place. Let's keep it real, you know? right? No, with no disrespect, but the year before that. 
Rich Homie Kwan came out there and fucked Biggie lyrics up. Yeah. I fuck with Rich Homie Kwan, but let's just throw it out there. Too. That's he my guy. fucked it up. He fucked it up because one thing people had Kiss, to come on. know that he's he so. not from his he generation. He's so. he not, he not from that generation. He was mad too. They wasn't supposed to choose him to even do that. The young Brooklyn dude. You think they would have called? I think they just uh, needed somebody that 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 worked. That was young I think and they hot. just took anybody that. Nah, just, it yeah. ain't that. He just didn't know enough about that song. He didn't fit the criteria. You Cause it ain't. He didn't grow up off. He didn't grow up off that. He right. didn't. He didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy as me and Fendi are cool with uh, Rich Homie, and Fendi was nigga. with him and Facetime me. Fendi and was I, with him at that time? Yeah, Fendi was in the, Fendi I guess he was got, in the, got, in where they were shooting it at. The bus. Hold on. Fendi was Fendi, with him. Fendi was with him? Where, yeah. Where's Fendi at again? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fendi <laughs> FaceTimed me. So I got on with Rich Homie. I'm like, yo. Right after it happened? No, before it happened. <laughs> and you, you co-sold I said, yo, you got it? You got that biggie? He's like, I got it, big bro. So it's I got it. for You coached him? No, I know. I don't, I'm just make, trying to make sure that this uh-huh. is a moment for him. Like, okay. and it's biggie, and it's mm-hmm. Brooklyn is going to take this seriously in, yeah. in the, the hip hop world. world. He never got to go back there. So, not even that. Just just making sure that I wanted him to be successful the same way. That's our guy. I fuck uh-huh. with Rich, homie. Okay. And I'm like, I want you to do it right, too. So he was like, nah, I got it. But I just think he, you know, <laughs> he got in a moment, he lost track. He lost, you know, it's not his. He didn't grow up. I can say that be, verse with my eyes closed. Okay, but he's not from that. Trying to be politically correct. I no, I'm, I'm speaking chances. for my guy. Okay, so now what happened? That's my guy you too. You saw him actually. Right now he can come back. Fuck it up. I saw him fuck it up. When you saw him fuck it, were you in the crowd or you nah, was on Nah, I was TV? somewhere else. I was. I okay. was. I was on the bill. You was on the. Yo, you gotta stop being on the bill on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the bill, it was hip hop on. Okay, so all right, but I'm coming back to you. Yeah. So you you what where were you at in life when you seen Tim? You called him, you FaceTimed him. No, Fendi FaceTimed me and he with was with, with Rich Homie. He threw you under the bus, Fendi. Don't look like that. <laughs> He was with him, and he okay. fa- and so that's when I got to speak to Rich Homie. He like, yo, we about to do it. He like, yo, I'm about to go do this, do this, Big Homie. I'm like, you got it. Like, you got it. You, you for real, you got it. He like, nah, I got it. I got it. So I was like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? It just went on. I was kind of just trying to make sure he was good and he was straight. Like, you know what I mean? At the same time, like, don't go out there and think this is light. This is okay. something that means something to a lot of people. You know what I mean? And he was like, nah, I got it. Okay. But now, in the moment, he just must have lost anywhere it. Anywhere in the world. Now you see him fuck up big lyrics. Yeah. This is your man, you and Fendi, FaceTime, just recently. <laughs> How did you feel at that moment? I was like, damn, he said he had it. Did you answer his text? Because I'm not going to lie. I, I still I, answer his text. You did? I, I dodge a nigga every now and then. I did. You answered his text? Yeah, yeah. What was that text feeling like? Well, I, I, truthfully, I never even spoke to him about that. I more speak to him about his, him. You know what I mean? Fab, I feel like you're a petty nigga and you just hold him back. Nah. Fab, <laughs> listen, nah. listen, I am petty president. Yeah. I'm a real nigga first and then a petty nigga second. So I would, I'm going to do real So you real put real nigga in front of petty. And then I I've might never do done petty. that. You know what I mean? So I got to figure out how I do that. Please, can you, can you teach me? I can teach you the way. Uh, please tell, tell me how this right. work. So real nigga. I checked in with him, you know, mm-hmm. even after that. Because I think, truthfully, I think it it, it, it fucks with people, like, you know what I mean? Because he started getting a lot of backlash from it. But you're also internet it. savvy, so you mm-hmm. saw they were frying the money. They would be, that's what I mean. They were fucking okay. with him, and he was, he was, you know what I mean? It don't, I, I, I wanted him to make, that don't define him, because it really, he got put in a position that wasn't even his, really, his position. Like, you know what I mean? He, he, he didn't grow up listening to Biggie. So for him, it was actually like re- reciting something that he he don't know. For us, we could recite it with our eyes closed. You want to sit more with him? Oh, that's Mo. like him calling Uncle Murder to do an outcast song. Right. He wouldn't have been able to do it. Trying to fuck him. He wouldn't have been able to They wouldn't have called him for one. Yeah, but at some point, you got to say, I don't know that. Uh-huh. If you take the task uh-huh. off, 
Nah. I'm not even mad that Rich Homie Kwan ain't no Somebody else song. fucked some lyrics up before. Lupe fucked no, up somebody's all, all, No, we said it on Drink Champs, and Lupe been trying to... Uh, yeah, we've been trying to get it right. On the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Listen, on we blew it up. Shows, I had, though? Yeah, huh? on the hip hop honors, exactly. Yo, show. on hip, no, nah, fat yeah. boy. Exact show. This is what this 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 is what I want to bring out from student. fat. Fat is hip hop. Niggas think fab just rhyme on girl records, and and, and that's it. Nah, fab is super. Hip. This is why I'm glad you just did that. Cause see, I didn't even bring that up. Mm-hmm. And this is a drink champs topic, because Lupe actually got on after that and said he wasn't a Tribe Called Quest like super fan, and that's my guy. He's, but come on, brother, like actually in your style, I can see Tribe Called Quest, right? And this is no mm-hmm. disrespect to him at all, but you just should have rehearsed. And, and and does that go back to the spectrum? of back then these guys would we we would study a Rakim. We would study a Nas. We would study a a, a Jay Z. We would study a a Wu Tang. And then now these people just does it go back to that? I don't know because I don't I wouldn't have I might have not known of Tribe Called Quest first word for word either. Mm. I might have would well, you have known a boot camp clip? I would have, because that was a, that's Why what type you of would've? hip-hop I was, because that's what I was listening to. Okay, that. so let's make some noise for that. <laughs> would you would you would have known a Big Daddy Kane verse? I would. Big Daddy Kane was my first okay, favorite Okay, let's rapper. make some noise for that. Let me continue to make my point. Would you would have known a Jay-Z verse? I would have. Known okay, so let's make some noise for that. <laughs> what are you saying? You just that like that you gotta know the tree you come from, meaning yeah. meaning. No, okay, Lupe I, I ain't from Queens. No, okay. no, 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 no. Let me just you rich know. homie. He ain't no, from Bi. No, 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 no. I know y'all went to Lupe, <laughs> okay. but rich homie ain't from Bi, so he get the pass. No, no. Lupe supposed to know all <laughs> hip hop. No, on the last subject, y'all. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Lupe is one of them. Lupe is a backpack nigga that could really rhyme. No, he just and weird. he's dope. I respect yeah. him. I love him. So he's supposed to know all of that. He don't yeah. get to pass that exactly. <laughs> that, that, that was my point, was Lupe, oh, because shit. Lupe, you could actually hear Tribe Called Quest and Lupe, even if he doesn't hear he's like a baby Tribe Called tribe. Quest and Lupe. Yeah, he's baby it's, Tribe. He comes from that. He, he comes from that. Of, it's, yeah. it's he just never like, was it's supposed to like mess up a Tribe you say, verse. Hearing Lupe. Fab say, like Fab being yeah. from Brooklyn, and hearing Fab say, well, Jay wasn't really my inspiration. You would sound crazy. Mm-hmm. You know why you would sound crazy? Because you're from Brooklyn. You're from the same claw. No matter where it is, if Jay is on this side and you're on this side, it's just still related. Uh, Biggie don't I got, got no one. relation to, to I got one. Rich Homie, though. How about if they asked him to do a top lip coalition? Who? <laughs> if Fab? I, I could do a quality. Man, you, you, you bugging. Kid. Nah, I ain't bugging. He's from Brooklyn. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me put this together. You're right. You're right. All right. I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah, out where you're going with it. Okay, so you're saying if... <laughs> no, you're saying if, just because he's from the... Play, you're no, saying because right. so he's look, from look, Brooklyn. So, so now, it's Tyler, Kweli, and most deaf, right? 20... They lyrical months. They lyrical anniversary, months. Anniversary. Anniversary. And they call fat, right? He's okay. gonna have to do some studying, y'all. He's gonna have to do some playing over I think some roles. Fab would. I think. I think his studying is it, gonna be less. But it ain't gonna be one of them shits he know off rip. He gonna have to listen to look, it. Look. In Even the Fab is confused in, right nah, now. That's true. <laughs> nah, Fab is but saying, that's what, I'm not but that's sure. what makes a great artist, though. Somebody that's gonna put in the work. Put, yeah. Mm, and and, and yeah. my problem with today, nobody wants to put in the work. Mm. Mm. Facts. It's microwave it's error. Microwave mm. error. Are we gonna see Steve Griffin smoke? I can't, I can't smoke. I had open heart surgery. Yeah, open okay, heart surgery. Oh, oh, my, my, my fault. This is not funny if I keep saying, <laughs> keep going. I'm so sorry. Fab, what are we, what are we thinking? It's really? late. Huh? What are we thinking? I'm just trying to make sure. I'm just trying to stay out of stuck Norris mode. You know what I mean? Stuck Norris. I, I like stuck that guy. Norris. <laughs> That's hard. That is hard. Now, Fab, no. 
Do you know on a low, you're like the fashion police? Me? Like, whatever you, like, you're like in the most respectful way ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> niggas say that ain't gonna say something disrespectful. <laughs> Yo, the most respectful way ever. No disrespect, but all oh, dis. Oh, I have no respect. You know what I mean, but you might not know what I mean. Uh. But you remember Joan Rivers? She mm. was on. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> nigga just said I was Joan Rivers. Okay, okay, where is this going? I did not see this to Joan Rivers. I did a show before. Make some noise for this. Let's make yeah. some noise. Yeah. I definitely know Joan Rivers. Don't know who I am. But listen, at one point, niggas will post a picture. This is how I'm looking on Instagram. And niggas will be like, they'll try to pull up like the releases or some shit like that. And niggas said, it ain't hot. I saw it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. And that's fab where that shit fucked me up. Mm. Do you, yo, you like the, listen. That's crazy. I'm giving you, this is our reality show. We gonna produce it, mm -hmm. all right? I'm okay. getting you, Steve Riff, we, we got the brand. I definitely want to be on the hip hop fashion <laughs> police. Huh? I definitely want to be on the hip hop fashion police. No, not like that. You don't, you don't got to realize. See, what you got to do is, like, everybody want to battle for record deals. Everybody want to battle for uh, to be the next hip hop star. Like, my man Pump Daddy, oh man, they, they looking for the next. Come on, American Idol been done already. We got to relax, right? I personally. I don't believe in anything they're doing, but I understand the check, mm -hmm. all right? But where has been the next hip hop fly nigga? And mm. now it's fab sitting there and going, yo, y'all, if that ain't <laughs> it. <laughs> Just like that? You, you, you like, that ain't it. And you like, that is it. Mm. Loud. Listen, Yo, think it out. Think it out. Think it out, fam. Think it out, fam. Because niggas say, listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm in the hood. Mm -hmm. I go with a haircut somewhere. I like to sneak in. Like, I like to sneak in where a nigga don't know her, man. Mm -hmm. Niggas say, Yo, they said, your North Face is back hot. I, this is word of everything I love. Somebody walked by and said, fam. <laughs> They said, if Fab ain't wearing it, it ain't back home. I heard that as a normal individual. Mm. You got to be, not Joan, I'm sorry. I said it's Joan Rivers. This is very not the way I mean it. Mm -hmm. But if Fab's going there and see your skill salon, your outfit is not it. Mm -hmm. You got to relax. And then you show a nigga how to put his shit together. Mm. You don't think that song? That sound like something to me. Of course, listen, let me tell you something. It's a new way for us. Mm. Listen, I'm going too far? Nah. No, it's a new, it's a new way for us. There's people who came and took hip hop, right, and they made like these reality shows, and they made it. That's not where hip hop is. Hip hop should be congratulated mm. and celebrated. And we should sit back and say, do you got these public school bottles? Steve, you can't come on here. You can't drink, because you had the open heart. No, I, can, no I can't. You're OK, all right. You get the pass. You're the only one. But everybody else, you got to sit here and Drink and have fun. And that's what hip hop is. The minute we, we, we start thinking about points and publishing, we have to have people in that certain positions who, who can come and take that and say, yo, look, this is what you're supposed to have, and you're going to get that. Correct? Because when the artists start thinking about things like that, you think it takes away from the artistry? 100%. Mm. How about you, Fab? You have to be aware about it. Yeah. I mean, I think over time you learn it. You mm. know what I mean? When you first coming in, you don't even know. You don't know what you're supposed to get. You, mm. you, you're supposed to get what they tell you you're supposed mm. to get. 
Mm. You know, even as a record company owner, and mm. having you know JVs, I still don't know what I'm supposed to get on certain things. Mm. I mean, mm. and but the crazy thing is, you know, I was talking about my dad earlier. He passed a few years ago. God bless him. And I went to clean out his, you know, his belongings, and I ran, you know, and I saw a James Brown contract. Mm. So, James Brown's contract and Akon's contract are pretty much the same contract. Take out a few words. That was hard. So you're talking about late 60s, early 70s, and Akon's last contract with me was 2006. Mm. So, you know, mm. it was an A-track, you know, and there was vinyl, and it was a 45. Mm. Mm. And, and, and the other thing. Levels. Levels? Eight-track buttons, 45, CDs, flash drives, streaming. But that's now. Yeah, that's now. Now, now. <clears throat> streaming is helping or hurting the game? You know, I think it's helping. You know, nobody knows that Spotify is giving Universal $500 million a year. But they're giving the artists. Universal doesn't know what to fucking do with it. So, <laughs> so the executives. They're making their money. How much again? I'm sorry. Five hundred million a year. Mm. I just want to say that one more time. Say five five hundred million a year. That's a stupid number. Did we know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You didn't know? <laughs> because I You're know kids know that, know that kind of shit. Nah, I ain't know. I'm I'm finding out. That's why I'm knowing yeah, it right in front of y'all. Oh, now you know. I know. You, you know, you, you know, I'm like special ed. That's what I say. I'm, that's why I'm now I'm known in that right in front of y'all. Did y'all hear that? That's terrible. Continue. Take a little pull up too. Yeah, yeah come on, man. So they, they, they make, so Universal, the actual Universal, when you say Universal, we're talking. Interscope, Def Jam. Interscope, Republic, Def Jam. Capital. They're paying Spotify five No, months. Spotify's paying them. That's under the table, underhanded shit, because they ain't give us a nickel. I'm about to ask y'all that. Nick It's like sport, it's like high school. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like NCAA. College. Yeah. It's like, it's like it's the NCAA, you said it. Same shit going on, but worse. At least they get a turkey sandwich. I'll stop and say it like that. Y'all niggas knew a little bit. I didn't know none of that. I didn't know they gave 500 animals. <laughs> and who gave 500? Who? Spotify. Gives it to the... To, to the parent label, yeah. To uni, to the Universal. And the Universal, that's Interscope, Def Jam, yeah. Rockefeller, Rough Riders. I mean, yeah. in my day. Yeah. Um, um, Re Universal, Republic, Motown. Uh, back in Island. Island. Uh, that's crazy. Did, did we think that, that a game would be like this? Like, even in remotely, like a little bit. I ain't know. I didn't, because I ain't never got into Yo. music for the game. I was purely on the love of hip hop. So, yeah. the game I learned after, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm already on cloud nine. And now that you say love and hip hop, you've never been on love and hip hop. No. You popped up before. No, I never been. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Never been on no, no. Dirty nigga. No, never. Yeah. They was always waiting for me, left them for dead on that joint. I couldn't. That wasn't my uh, <laughs> that wasn't my thing. No, that nah. saved a lot of merit not showing up on it. Nah, it earned stripes in this nah, for real. Because mm. I, I seen them episodes. I, I used to watch it back then. Those episodes was to try to set me up to go on there, but that was never my but how did you know they were trying to set you up? Nah, you smart. Because they were, even in that episode, they try to make you look bad, so maybe you would try to go repair your name, be on it to repair oh, your name. Yeah, to try so to what you don't work any yeah, So what you mean? They showing you a script or no? No, I never had. I had never had any dealings with them. It was through my. Uh, it was through my lady Emily, who they um, was trying to reach out and get me to be on the show. But through her, even when she decided to do it, I was like, I don't. I don't think you should do it, but if you want to do it, it's your, you know what I mean? Maybe you could um, stretch the platform into something else for you, you know, hustle it, whatever. Shit. 
You know real what I'm saying? Real man shit. Let's, so let's make some noise for that. That's real man shit. So she went and did it. So, but they used to try to, you know, flow through her, like, yo, get him to come on there. And it just wasn't my thing. Like, that's not what right. I was trying to do. And, um, you know, it's a it's a platform, you know, it's still running right. today and people, you know, are, are eating from it. So I guess, it, but it just wasn't my thing. You know what I'm saying? So right. I never, I never was with it. That's why I said like the, some episodes, they would try to even get her to, you know, go to along you, with you. making scenarios that had, that pulled me in. Right. But I just wasn't pull, pulling into it. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, I, I didn't, I didn't like what it, I didn't like it business wise, and I didn't like what it portrayed. So I was just, you know, that wasn't it. But if how I'm did you have show, the foresight to know what it portrayed? Because mm-hmm. pretty much that was early on, like mm-hmm. of of the. Yeah, course. it wasn't even as bad as it is today. It was yeah, a different yeah. style. It was diff- It was cleaner. Yeah. It was, you know, yeah. wasn't everybody throwing drinks in everybody's face, and, right. and you right. know the whole. It was cleaner. You know what I mean overall, but it still was in a situation where I was like putting my life in a soap opera or something, and I just wasn't with it. Mm-hmm. And business-wise, if, if I ain't that was very smart. EP or, or, or something, like when I get some ownership, like I can't, you, right. as them actors, they're like actors. They can't even tell what, say what they don't want on there or not. The show mm-hmm. owns it. You like hire work, and they put what they want out there. If you get look crazy, if you somebody get the best of you, whatever, there's mm-hmm. nothing you can do about it. And they edit it to wherever they want. So even if something was more, you know, I heard people always say, oh, it was more, they ain't see all of that. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. because they edit it. You ain't got no say in that. So I can't be a part of something that's like that, especially right. for my brand and who I am. Like, it just don't work for me. Now, early on, you got a Shanti on your record. Mm-hmm. We had Irv Gotti on recently. Mm-hmm. He said he was on ecstasy. Back then, he definitely murdered Ink days back then. <laughs> it was a vibe back then. I forget him and why ja, he him said and Ja was a vibe back then. It was a vibe. Mm-hmm. I forget why he says he doesn't clear it. He cleared it. She she was on. He didn't he didn't have they didn't do the video. She he really? cleared it for the song. They wasn't doing that. And why would you? Why 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 does that happen in the music area? Why do, talk about why that? Do, shit why do people do? A song with somebody, but then don't want to do the video. Mm. I never asked man. Irv that to this Monday. day. Politics. So no, this I'm asking happen. you it to this day. I don't know right why now. they didn't do it. I'm gonna ask Ashanti right. too. I'm gonna text her. Mace had that from Horse right. and Carriage. Why? LL and EP. No, these few people just they what? got they ain't no way in your mm. where your man supposed to tell you he not doing your video. No, but I'm asking what? your frame of mind, right? You 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 coming up, damn man, you. Because they just was in their mode. They was in their bag, I guess. Maybe. But, I don't know. But, you got to ask Irv that question. And Irv and no, Ashanti we ask that. Irv because this is what we're coming to you. All right. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't do it. I know we we went to, the but song came from Tamiya. We used Ashanti. Ashanti didn't do the video. T- Tamiya, who at the time, her throat was messed up. So we had to get Ashanti, too. We wanted Ashanti, but we had to get Ashanti. Wait, so then. I don't understand. Cause it was Tamia's song at first, so we wanted yeah, Tamia to do, Tamiya do the, the, the rap version, but Tamia couldn't do it because she had surgery on her throat or, or her throat was messed up something. So we got Ashanti. Mm. When it was time to do the video, Ashanti was 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 not what's her name. So we went back to Tamia. Mm. Tamia did the video. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because Ashanti. I never asked them to this day why they didn't do the. I don't know what it was. I feel like they was just in a murder m- murder ink bag. My real feelings is that they they. They just was in their bag and they just wasn't feeling like we ain't gotta do no videos for nobody else, kinda. I don't know. We gotta ask them though. I'ma ask them personally though. I wanna we, see we what we can ask them right now. Drink I that. speak to Irv and Ashanti periodically, so I am gonna ask them. I'ma call Irv, but Irv ain't picking up my calls. Is there any questions <laughs> that you wanna ask somebody from this this is everybody at this table gotta answer this now. Is there mm-hmm. questions that something happened? And you never ask the question why or what happened within the music industry that you would want to ask somebody, or that you could ask them now, because it's over. So it's a, you know it's water under the bridge now. You could ask it and yeah. just just to know what the answer was. Yeah. No. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you start with Steve? And then okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. Steve, is there any question that you would have asked somebody of something that? Yeah. I mean, I would have asked um, the chairman of BMG why they wouldn't let me sign Jay Z. Mm. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a 
Hold on, hold on. You stop uh -huh. the blood. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta describe this moment. So they never gave you the answer for it, they just told you you couldn't. I mean, I, I figured out what the answer was. And oh, okay. when you say BMG, this is under loud. Yeah, this is loud, this. Under loud. Yeah. Okay. So Damon J were in the office, and um, this was early loud. Early <laughs> loud. This is pre after, Wu Tang? After, it's, after, it's after Wu Tang, but it's before Mob D. Okay, after Wu Tang, before Mob D. I'm thinking this is like a Beat Nuts era. Like mm. Beat Nuts is in between. No, no, none of the Beat Nuts. Let me relax. I gotta relax. Mm. <laughs> Okay, get, get, describe me this era. Let me be quiet. It has to be 94. 94. Yeah, I'm in jail. That's the reason why. Yeah, okay. 94. yeah I'm in jail. Yeah, okay, Trump go. Um, you know, I go back with Dame since he's 15 years old. You go back with Dame, Dame since Dash. He, since okay. he's 15 years old. Continue. So, what? Yeah. Oh, we, we all learn history on Jing So, um, Maddie C and Scott Free. Who brought. Uh, Madison and Scott Free is also who brought you Bob D. Yeah. Is that also the people who discovered Biggie? Maddie's the one who discovered Maddie's Biggie. Maddie's yeah. discovered Biggie. Okay, I'm on point. Look at my hip hop history. I just want to throw that out mm. there just in case. Yeah, um, they said, um, <clears throat> Dame wants to take a meeting with you. And I also had Stretch Armstrong who was working for us. But when they say Dame want to take a meeting, you don't know who Dame is. No, I know. I, yeah, yeah D Dame's like, yeah, he's in his early 20s now. So don't forget, Dame was managing Original Flavor. Forgot about that. Continue. So um, mm. they come up to the office, and it's the only time in my life where I shook Dame's hand. I said, "We got a deal." Mm -hmm. I called Strauss Zona, who's the chairman of BMG, mm -hmm. and I said, <clears throat> "I want to sign this artist." And we were in negotiations for a full JV. I wasn't a full JV yet at BMG. And JV took them all. Joint, joint venture. venture. Good, good, good. Um, he goes, all right, you know, we just hired a president for RCA, and I was pissed about that, that they didn't put me in the process. Mm. Not that I wanted to be president of RCA, just whoever. So we were fighting, and we were also negotiating Wu-Tang's second album. Mm. So the deal got stuck on $20,000. Wu-Tang? On the second, it's a renegotiation. So I'm supposed to be negotiating against Wu-Tang, but I'm actually on their side. And the head of business affairs says, I'm not going any further. And I said, you're out of your fucking mind. And it was a woman. And she says, you know, Stephen Rifkin, I'm, I'm tired of your shit. Get the fuck out of this building. And I take a chair. We're on the 36th floor conference room. So if the windows were over there. Broadway, we're facing Broadway. Because BMD at the time was the 45th and Broadway. I'm ready to throw the chair through the window. Right, and I, and, but I grabbed the chair and I turned around and I threw it th through the door. So, make a long story short, they got me arrested. Um, I don't remember when Steve Rifkin got arrested. I don't remember Steve Rifkin getting get arrested. I'm throw that out there, Steve. Yeah, what? You got arrested? Hey, speak you to Rizzo. Remember that? Um, <laughs> speak, speak, speak to Rizzo. He was. Oh fuck! Oh, Rizzo was there. Okay, all right. Um, mm -hmm. So. They wouldn't let me. He goes, you have too much power, and you, you know, and you're abusing our staff. There's no way in the world we're letting you sign anything else. Mm. Yeah, I remember Who said that? So how, you say you knew the answer to it. So that that was that was the, was the, that was the answer the after the fact. Oh. Now it's your turn. And then kiss. Well, who was talking about? You was told, we was talking about a question you wanted to ask somebody over something that you that you. Oh, the industry. Know. It's definitely, it's definitely my show, Fab. I, I respect, <laughs> I respect the shit out of you, you mother nigga. From the beginning, I ever met you, but it's actually good. It's your turn, sir. Go ahead. I already did it. This no, nigga's so hot and gone. Like, you gotta do it again. It's my show. Come I on. I told you it was, it was asking Irv and Ashanti why they didn't clear. No, I told for the video. you that. I brought that up. This nigga's gone. Man. Man. No, didn't I bring that up? Didn't this I bring that up? Man. Am I bugging? I brought that up like a motherfucker because we just had Irv on here and we asked him one of the things he regretted and he said that. That's the reason why I brought it up. Yeah, but that still wasn't why they didn't do it. I wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to, ask to ask the question to them like, why didn't y'all do it? It was a big song. It was, uh, you know, it was two artists that were big in 2002, 2003. 
2003. Sylvia must have pissed him off. Mm, maybe. Could have been. Then Earl was in his film. Now, now, now. What's the question kiss, again? Kiss the tip. Any question that you wanted to ask somebody yeah. throughout the career that you never mm. asked? Mm, that's all. Fathoms of overall shit. We nah, weird. I want yours What happened to with Nas and Big, man? Where they, they were supposed to do some. They were supposed to do something that never panned out or something never happened. He, mm. he, he recently said something I said he that. answered that. From that Ooh. time, you said yeah, you had to. Because I wanted to know that too. Like, he was there's a picture was supposed of Nas to be, and Big in the they studio. They told me it was one more chance remix, but he got too high. Oh, yeah, nah, that's what nah. they told me too. Yo, we got, yo, you, see, you don't be looking at your fucking comments. Them niggas fried us for that. <laughs> what was it? It was not one more chance. It was, damn, yeah, now I'm so scared. scared. It was give me the loot. It was give me the loot. Look at me in the hip hop nigga. Give me the loot. That's <laughs> Yo, listen to me. When you said that and I, I'm sitting there because I'm just so excited. This is UNC. I ain't mistaken though. Me and C shot at each other at one point. So we sitting there together and I just like, <laughs> yo, them niggas fried me. <laughs> them niggas. It was give I, me the loot. Them niggas. It was give me the loop. Them niggas, yo, the fans, that's the one thing. One thing, this is the yeah, thing. Yeah, if you speak on hip hop history and you say the wrong thing. No, 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 no. This is <laughs> the thing I want to, this is the thing I want to, I want to tell y'all. Because in, in the future, if you do it the right way, you should never ever drop an album again in your life. You should drop a podcast. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Hear me out. Steve, we're all going to agree once I make my point. Right? Sometimes you throw your product out, but it's in a Costco. You know what a Costco is? The Costco got every fucking thing. Right? Do you really want to go into Costco and buy everything? You already got your more lower. You already got everything else, right? You already got everything. Why would you ever? You already, you know what I mean. You already got. Not a lawnmower. A lawnmower. This is my nigga Fab. I helped him out from the beginning. <laughs> so listen, you already got that. Why would you keep going to the Costco when you could actually go to the person who you fuck with, right? So if, let's just say, right, you dropped an album on a pod, Riz is just so art. He sold an album as art. Do y'all niggas get with the fucking interior of shit he just did? An album as art, right? Two million dollars? Two million dollars. Two million dollars, right? So he sold it to the nigga. It's two million dollars. Now that person can actually do whatever he wants. No, nah, I don't think he can. Okay. I don't know for a fact, but I don't think he can. But do you, do you understand that level of business? Oh, I'm bugging. Mm -mm. No? You don't understand the level of business? No, I understand. I know you understand. You like the major label. You understand. Just two men and how about you? I got a different love for I don't I got a different love for hip hop. I don't want to sell my album to one person and then have it as art. No, I want no. I want the masses. But look to at it like a Mona Lisa. Lisa. Like, like, as far as Mona yeah, Lisa. Yeah, that's cool. Mona Lisa and all that is cool. I'm just saying I don't I wouldn't want that ever. It's not the way we work with I it. wouldn't ever want one mm -hmm. one person with just one album in my I want I want my shit to be everybody to Anybody, every and anybody to get it. I get what that does. I get what that is. That's you know, like a like an appreciation. It's an art piece. It's a it's a different thing. But musically speaking, like I don't want that for the music. For music, mm -hmm. like just selling a piece of material, like a Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. like if a Mona Lisa was sold, it's still to one person. It's still on that Mona Lisa. Only one person. They put it in a museum for everybody to 
look at it, look praise at it, it. Yeah. but yeah. you can't, they can't appreciate it. They can't have it on their wall. But you don't think hip hop is like the ultimate art? Yeah, but I think it's everybody's art. Mm. An artist, a fan, a producer, uh, you know what I mean? It's different, it's different. It's so much. Everybody gets a piece of the art. They get to enjoy it in their way. That's why music, like, it, all your memories, you got a, a, a memory to music. So one summer, I was, we was doing this, but we was listening to this. You know what I mean? That winter I was hustling, I was listening to this, this album the whole time I was hustling. You're gonna always have that. So if only one person gets to have that, that's selfish within the, within the art to me. Two o'clock. I'm, I'm gonna tell everybody one thing. This has changed my whole life. I walk into the bar randomly, because I'm a random nigga. Just walk into the bar. Because I'm a random nigga. And the shit starts snowing. It, this is the, when the, the Cadillac first made the Cadillac truck. So I got the Cadillac champagne. I drink champagne, I'm in the champagne truck. Mm -hmm. Ran. Makes sense. Seriously, right? Girl walks by, she smiles it, she says, yeah. She comes in the car and she says to me, the illest story I ever I platonic. But she says to me, it's boring outside. I wish Biggie had a song out. Changed my life. Listen, I don't understand. All right. Niggas, this. She said, it's boring outside. I wish Biggie had a song out. As if when Big has a song out, this is an event. This is great adventures. Vibe, it changed this the is, that shit fucked me up. I'm like, hold up, this nigga could have a song out, mm -hmm. and you could have... Shit is different out here. The streets ain't dry no more, it ain't. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on the war report. I said, I got an upgrade. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't feeling me. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't understand it. I said, oh, holy shit. That's These real. niggas is making something called a thing that when you get it, it's a whole feeling to it. Mm -hmm. Like I just wanted to, to 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 please project people. Like this is real. This is real. Kiss, you good? Yeah. <laughs> you want a shot? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that. So but you understand? <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say, Fab? Mm -hmm. That's what it real. is. That's what the music do. Nah, you don't understand. Vibes like, and feelings and memories and energies, nigga. That's what it's about. A person told me it's boring now. I wish a Biggie record was out. I was like, wait. I'm, uh, Message. That's like, what you were saying when they said that. The way they describe it was like, it was like when the, that type of record was out, was it was a whole event that came with it. I had never felt like that in my life. And that's when I made Super Dub. Mm. So make some noise for me. Yeah. And I only know that was the right segue. move now. I only know that was the right move now. Now, fat. Now off top, you come in the game, you spitting. Then, like, your first breakout single was with Nate Dogg. Mm -hmm. What made you say, let me take that chance, let me go over there, let me do what the fuck I gotta do? I felt like I was the next generation coming in that the East Coast, West Coast thing had was to show that it was dying out. Because when I was coming, that, that you know, even that smoke from that, from that East Coast, West Coast beef was dissolving. And I wanted to symbolize that by doing a joint with Nate. I'm from the New York, Nate from LA, which was the Bridge two. Bridge the gap. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? It was the 
was the two places where we lost the Clue two was the biggest referee. artists. Clue was the referee. Is Clue was the referee in the Ray J shit too? Because I feel like we didn't finish that. I don't know. I don't know why he. I don't know why. Yeah, why Ray he said Clue was the only was, person who just I don't know. He was like he made Clue like this like Farrakhan person or something like. Oh. You know what I mean? I don't know. How you y'all know right saying? now? With me and Clue or me and Ray? Daryl, everybody, Skane. Oh yeah, everybody's cool. They just, you know, wish me happy birthday. I just, you know, you I speak to Clue. I'm mostly like, you know, uh, speak to Skane. Skane. Nah, I'm just thinking back on it while I'm talking. But I'm everybody. Everybody's solid. Uh, you know what I mean? Everybody's solid. Sure. Just had a listening. They all was there. We had the listening for Freddie versus Jason. They all was there. I mean, Friday on Elm Street. My bad. Uh, and they was there. Friday. Cool and Friday. Friday. Oh, Kiss, what are you doing? You fucking going over the limit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what limit I'm going over. You've it's been no here eight, 18 times. Yeah, right, let's yeah. bring Fendi out here. Let's bring Fendi out here. Come on, Fendi. Come on. Here. Come on. You wanted to come. Yo, Get Fendi. your ass out of here. Fendi. The people been calling tap, tap for you. In, tap in, Fendi. Yeah, come on. Nigga, you gotta get Mike. You gotta up. have a drink too. You gotta get Mike. Oh up. shit. Oh shit. And you gotta smoke. Oh and shit. And you gotta smoke. You gotta and drink about, and smoke. And talk about when you snuck on the plane. That's yo, yo fab. Is that not like a real Brooklyn nigga story? Like in a lot. He got a lot of good stories though. Like no, no, no. He's been around. He got a lot of good stories. No, but I'm saying like in the nineties. That's when a when crazy you, story. I never like, even heard of nobody doing that. I've seen Brooklyn that. niggas. It's crazy story. And then niggas snuck on the plane. That's how my they show me thing, my, my they loyalty to me. My dopest thing was on, my dopest snuck, moment for him. They snuck was him on getting money nice with both of y'all niggas. Oh. He, he snuck on the plane with me, but now he snuck on the, snuck on the plane with getting book money with both of y'all niggas. Because he is retarded. Oh, yeah. That is my nigga. Come on over here, Fendi. Come on. That's my nigga. I love that nigga. He, oh, he, not he, got, he got a video of him. Shooting uh-huh. dice with Biggie. That was a that was a good one for mm. him too. Mm. Let's make some noise. Look excited, right? Look excited, look excited, man. I say boy, I say boy. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. We done had Puff Daddy here. We got Steve Rifkin here. Give me some Please. drink, man. Huh? Oh. Give me some drink, champ. Yo, yeah, yeah, please, please. Yeah, Hub yourself. Hub yourself. I'll fall asleep. No, you better not fall asleep. You might be the sleep champ because of this drink. After this, guy, yeah, you gotta do it. So now, so now, Fendi. So now, Fendi. <laughs> Did you start out with um, Nicki Minaj? No, I started out. Uh, I actually started Franchise. Out with, uh, no, I started out on the road with Big Daddy King. Mm. Now, you ain't been down with Big Daddy King. So <laughs> that's gonna not let you say that. King took me on the road. That's just let you say that. King took me on the road first. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah. Now, they used to hustle. No. One of, you got Fendi no. used to, that way. One of say Big Daddy Kane's dancers, Fendi used to let him get the back door at his spot yeah. in North Carolina yeah. that was you making $10,000 a day. Yeah. Yeah. Scuba yeah. Scrap used to get the back door. School bitch. That's facts. All right. That's facts. That was scrap. That was That's scrap. how we gonna start scrap. this off, man. Yeah, how we gonna start it off, Don't start your shit off. Like, Tell them, man. You gotta get a little... You ain't drinking I can't drink. Nah, open heart surgery. Rifkin can't uh, hit nothing, man. Get him, okay. get him a watermelon. He <laughs> put on Wu-Tang. He got the super pass. Oh, you don't need nothing. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, he put on Wu-Tang and Marv Deep. He got the super pass. Pun. You stay here. We're going to get fucked up. And, and in front of his face. Nobody going to judge him. That's okay. our brother. Come on. Let's make some noise. Steve Rifkin. Now, 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 Fendi. Did I describe you jumping on the plane story correct? Nah. What no. the? Nah. What did I mean? Actually, I didn't sneak on the plane. That was G. Who's G? I wasn't really a hype man at the time. Oh, G I, was the oh. guy that was boosting. Yeah, you that, had about six G's. And he was, and he was with, um, you? he was actually with, uh, no, he wasn't. He was with um, Nature. Definitely don't remember this the way he's breaking it <laughs> yeah, down. Nature from, um, I just feel like I got to agree. Nature was he in the got firm. a good memory, though. Nature's so I believe he's great. Nah. I do. He remembers everything. These yeah. niggas snuck on a plane, six D, with a radio, like an elephant. Or oh, if they had a radio, that was nature. That was nature. Yeah, it might have been. Y'all might have been linked in. I mean, I was your hype man at the time. 
So I was already no, on the plane. No, not that time. This is how you became. You was going to Florida. No, that wasn't Florida. Yes, it was. No, you, you, want, me, you want me to disapprove your story right now? I'm telling right you, now? man. I'm going to disapprove your story right now. 1998, man. No, I'm going to disapprove your story right now. The first case I ever caught as a hip-hop artist was in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this is why I, I want to tell you, even when you turn Hollywood and you start managing other niggas, never, relax. 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 I I'm never, listening. ever took it personal because you made me be the case without even knowing it. You and your Brooklyn niggas went in there and stole all the jackets, the Yankee jackets. That was but G. You, but you told me, where the... Where this one, Nori? And I had 30 niggas wearing different other jackets, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's, I'm in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We jump out. This is Snoop had just did this, this shit. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't got more for me. So I tried to do it. I don't know why I bad. Mm. I jumped out. I said, you motherfuckers ain't got more. I knew this is my number one shit. And there's always one dickhead. Mm -hmm. I do it through a block, a bike. And my niggas washed. <laughs> but I had to go through trial, all that shit. But the police nigga was standing right there. And Fendi was the nigga that said, don't wear. I, I got all these other niggas this color. Wear this color. Mm -hmm. I don't and know. you helped me be the case. And you ain't, you ain't even know that. You, you know what you you know you know when you gave me the jacket. Yeah, that was an um. Let's make some noise for Fendi helping me be the case <laughs> and not even knowing it. So he start managing little Cam. He, you know his number changed mm. and you know you start calling me like yo. Start acting funny. Yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. It yeah. happens, no. <laughs> no, I'm. You know, I've never taken it personally. No. Yeah, but Fab, your your fave, your your waves is still spinning. Oh shit. Yeah. Your Stay. waves. Your waves is still spinning. Are you feeling good out here, fam? Oh, just living my best life out here, Lord. <laughs> you living, you know, I mean, and we are so proud of you living your best life. Go back to Fendi. Go back to Fendi. No, why are you stop drinking? Story. No, I ain't drinking. We gotta finish oh, that. We gotta finish that story. Okay, well, let's finish that. What's the story? But you was telling about Fendi. With you, you try to disapprove his story, then you reapproved it. Uh, <laughs> me, me and Nori's best stories was nah. was, was, oh, was hot night Jamaica. Hot Night Jamaica. Describe that story, Fendi. Yeah, we um, it was, it was me and Nori, and it was Jay Z, Dame Dash, Clark Kent. I didn't even have a passport. I, I actually went out there with driver license and a and uh and a birth certificate that was ripped in half. And um. Pre Ben Latin. Yeah. Let's pre Ben Latin, definitely. Yes. Got the Hot Night Jamaica. We thinking about how we gonna tear these niggas up tonight. We, we sat beside the stage. We talked it up for a minute. We went out. We went out there and ripped Jay Z and Dame Dash a new ass. Mm. Paul's no homo. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it, was the show days when you killed the show. You was really in like it was like oh, a yeah, competition. You wouldn't say you. what? No, no, no. I, like I want to rip him a new asshole. Paul. Everything else I agree with you. Yeah, I good, said Paul's. Good, good, good. Yeah, but we we we, we ripped it. Yeah. It's now a, I ain't gonna lie. This is the first dude. I was just doing shows, and he like yo. You went from a gangster to like like a party music maker. You gotta have something in between that. And you was the first person yeah, that man. did that. Yeah, let's, let's, let's clap to that. Let's clap to that, <laughs> goddamn it. <laughs> you gotta know how to switch it up. And what did you just Paul say? Well, okay, Fab, Fab is in. Fab. I don't know. Y'all, 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 y'all. Look, look at look at Kiss. But Kiss been here nine times. This is okay. Tell him again. It's okay. So Fab, yeah. you guys come together. Mm -hmm. You guys do your shit. Mm -hmm. But at one point, back then, what was you and Joe Button's problem? Problem? Yeah, because you and Joe Button, I don't know why. I ain't never had was a problem. Was it to hear me? No, I ain't never had a problem with Joe. I feel like it was. No? I didn't. You sure? I was, yeah, I, for sure. I didn't, unless I didn't know. Unless, unless I didn't know we had a problem, but I ain't never had a problem. Real shit. Yeah, you and Joe. Real shit. I don't know we never had a lot of problems. Even when the Tahiri thing is, that was, you know, Tahiri was with him after 
It was just a different situation. My situation was over and there was a new situation. Mm. That happened. You ready to your water, baby? Huh? Uh, you you want to leave now? You want some water? Don't go no, there. Oh, no, I'm trying to get Steve Punk over here. Steve, oh, he some pray water. Did he just call him Steve Ballers? Did he just Never. Call him? Steve Drunk. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's get Steve Drunk, but we can't. Because he, he got open heart surgery. Water. You got to relax. <laughs> Can I ask you something? No, you can't ask me that. Why not? I got to. <laughs> this is not the way it works, it's my right? first time I'm not edgy about t I'm Man, you my, you my friend. I'm fucking you had a You had an issue with um mm. with Nas. That's mm. the only real issue that I can remember even hearing about with you. Yeah, man. that's it. Like, what happened with that? What, it, what was it all about? That was not, uh, your niggas heard some crazy shit. Yeah, we man. heard that? Yeah, y'all heard. Yeah, you know. I ain't hear nothing. I'm asking you. I definitely ain't hear nothing either. That was like you just said. Y'all had a problem. No, I never. Who said that? You. <laughs> no, I never. You seen Sandy Rexler on Netflix? He said. Has he seen that? Yeah, I never. <laughs> never. I've never. I've never ever ever. Never, never. ever ever. Never. But listen, man. I didn't think you was the question dodging type, man. Was, no, I thought you was a I did. Guy. I, I would have never came here if I thought you was a question job. It's like, <laughs> it was never what? No, that's not authentic. Yeah, it's not authentic. I, listen, do you want to keep talking about authentic? Because <laughs> I remember you drinking fucking, what was it? Red Stripe? <laughs> never. Yeah, in Jamaica. Let's go there. Yeah. You want to go to Jamaica, right? Yeah. Talk about Jamaica. T- talk about what happened. Jamaica was all right. What happened with Nas? Mm. My brother, oh. we love each other, and that's where we going with it. Any any of the questions? Nah, so we good. Everything's all love. We good. We good. Yeah, any other questions? Here, this is drink chance. Man. Yeah, this is drink chance. Let's have another drink. Yeah, let's have another. Let's let, let you have another mm-hmm. drink. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hit like, that you. French Minot. Nah, I, need, I need some champagne. Hit that French Minot. I can't drink that. Now, what happened with you and Nicki Minaj? Okay. Now you want didn't Nicki Minaj bring you in here? Cause this is the type of this is the type of time you on. What happened? Nick Who that? Nah, yeah. no, don't come on. Let's not say that. It's the type of time you on. <laughs> come on. Sad. We got Nicki Minaj, Young Money, oh, Dirty shit. Money. It's like Whoa. what happened? What happened? Really this is where you wanted to go with it. I'm just saying. I love hey, this. I love yeah. Freddie on Elm Street. What is that shit? Look at Kiss. That's hard. Let's get Kiss sleeping on Dream Champs. It's hard. It's hard. It's bad. You got to stay up. This is my Three limit. hours over the fucking limit. It's man. okay. <laughs> this is what we do. We for hip hop. What happened? We three hours what? over the limit. We three hours behind the time. What happened? Line. What happened? Fendi, you good? We good. Young money, dirty money. What happened? Everything they good. swiped him for everything. Wow. They took the drawers right off his head. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Gravy, Red Cafe. Everything Everyone is right. artist. So I'm the only one. Your cup's yeah. still all in full. Uh, you only nervous? Ones I need some champagne. By, <laughs> only yeah, person that ever man. stuck by Fendi is me, Fab, his mom's and his dog. Facts. <laughs> Wait, tell me, that was hard. Yeah. Me, Fab, his, his mom's and his dog. Mom's and his dog. I'm not gonna lie. I'm is that your DJ off. Khaled album? Yeah, me too. Yo, is that his DJ Khaled album? <laughs> me, fat, my mom's and my dog. <laughs> and you just get any other nigga to just come in there. Yeah, after that. That's hard. Me, fat, mom's and my dog. Is that, is that where you go taking it, Fendi? That's Because look, that's you know, this is Steve Ripley. He's signing right here. Steve Ripley's signing right here. Is that is that your DJ Khaled moment? Nah, I'm missing a couple other features. I might Ooh. put Nicki on the album. Let's get to the point. What are we talking about here? Did money? you discover Nikki? Because we, we don't really understand. Absolutely. Ch- 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 yeah, let me tell let, you. Let me set up the. Me you want to set up the question? That. He called me one day. He was on my block in my studio, on my crib. Kiss. I got a question for you. I got three names or two names. Should her name be something, 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 something? It might have just been Nikki something, Mirage. something. It was Nikki Mirage. Yeah, Nikki Mirage, Nikki Minaj. Or something else. Yeah, it was another name. Me, Nicki Minaj. You? Oh. I, I, it was, it was uh, Nice Nipples Nick. You can't, you, can't, you can't speed this story up. You gotta. <laughs> no, this, but this, I remember him this, calling They say me. You, could, you could run down, you could fuck one or two, but we could walk down. We could fucking walk. So the, I need to hear this. 
you very called me. I feel like you and Fab is saying, you're signaling. I'm an artist. I understand how this works. Niggas is signaling and saying, no, this is not what this is. This is drink chance. Drink some more. Have you? Have a great time, fat. I feel like you felt like you said, I, and you never gave me a verse. I feel like you owe me a verse. So just relax. I got you. you need a verse, I got you. <laughs> okay, so now what you give him a video? Now? So you're you at the studio. studio. Absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, absolutely I, not. And you know what? I ain't even going, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, kid. He called me one day. Mm-hmm. What name the you like? <laughs> Which name you like? Mm-hmm. Who? Okay. Andy Ooh. and Nikki called me. You never see her. Nah, they on the other end of the phone. Mm-hmm. You like Nicki Mirage, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj, mm-hmm. or some other name. Mm-hmm. Me, I like Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. Actually, Kiss was the first rapper ever did a feature with Nicki. Ever. We've never heard Kiss no, talk about this. The whole career. I mean, it's nothing. What am I going to get off of it now? Way to switch the subject, too, boy. No, he's great. No, Kiss is good. You see how I am? No, no. no. I mean, what is there to talk about? Well, which, 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 I did a lot of favors for a lot of people. I, mm. I didn't do it for that. Mm. I did it out of the heart, out of the love. So now, of, Fendi, you, 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 you now meet this girl. How do you meet her? How do you meet her in Queens? What do you mean? I'm in MySpace. Huh? MySpace? I'm in MySpace. Okay. Well, Fendi yeah. need a better lawyer. And then what happened? We got to chip in, do a GoFundMe, and get yeah, Fendi the right lawyer. Yeah, I need a GoFundMe tomorrow. He need the right lawyer. If he had the right lawyer. Steve, we can talk, man. We can definitely talk. Fendi need a lawyer. I don't lawyer. know if I'm making a side deal right here. <laughs> or a rifle. <laughs> Y'all got to stop. Y'all Fendi gotta need stop. a lawyer or a rifle. <laughs> so now, you, so now, now, we all got to ask the million dollar question. What's because question? That's you, the bathroom you, right there? You, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead, get busy. Yeah, she started out with Nikki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get this. Yeah, she, you started out with Nikki, mm-hmm. but then you wound up with little Kim after you they did. Be- <laughs> Can I keep it? Yeah. Keep it on. Keep uh, your mic yeah, on. You lost her too. Uh, <laughs> keep it going. Yeah. All right. So, uh, start out I, with I definitely wasn't start gonna take it where Kim was going, Went but now Kim. that he took it there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on with what you? What happened? Don't tell me you're Harvey Wildstein. No. I, I know that's not funny. No. I swear to God, I apologize. So what happened? You said what now? Get to the, get to I the definitely question. didn't say what you I said. You didn't ask the question. So why? Look. So you started with Nick. I, I discovered Nicky. Mm-hmm. You want to elaborate on discovery? Or oh, just I mean, leave I, it alone? I, 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 no, we can talk about that. I discovered Nicky. Um, <laughs> because we didn't even know, like, okay, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me enlighten stupid. you a little bit. I, I, I like him. Nikki. I named her Nikki Minaj. Trade word is mm-hmm. D-Ray Daniels. I took a fat. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> 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 Shit just got real. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, where we at? Uh, I'm telling you. Good. I just let me jump in. I named her Nikki Minaj. Boy. Who? Oh, him. He gets the artist from nothing. He molds them to something. They get mm-hmm. all way up to the plate, mm. they hit a home run, mm. and they run the bases and then run right past me. Mm. Mm. He shit on you, basically. Like, he was out here looking good until Kiss came on. No, it's not that. I mean, I always had the right paperwork. I'm just not the guy who, I'm so, I'm so street oriented that when you cross me, I want to hurt you. I don't want to go to the listen, lawyer. Listen, listen. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm going back to my games. problem is no my way problem you is had the right paperwork. <laughs> How's There's that, no Jada no. If he had the right, the same way is no way Weezy could have the right paperwork on Nicki and Drake. Because if he did, through all of this Birdman turmoil, the revenue off them could have him kick him back mm. till that gets figured out. Mm. I disagree, Jadakiss. If you had the right paperwork on Nicki Minaj, I had the right. I, I got no. You right would have got doesn't paid. Mean nothing, you got to you got to fight this in court. I tell first. you that this, every, this is a court that's issue. That's when it ain't the right paperwork. Well, I mean, I, I disagree. 
Next and you just don't want to yeah. fight it in court? No, we're not no. going to the next question. No. Right, oh, okay. Well, wow. we are I like this. Right here. If I get another drink, Nori, this is going to turn into the Fendi champs. Right, Let me yeah. get another yeah, drink. I want big champagne. Yeah. I don't want Drink no one of these whole public shit. Yeah. Fendi, yeah. knock my shit, knock shit off. Then give me that. Let's go. Give him that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, come on. We're going to turn this the right way. You know the fat boys were side to him. Yeah, let's go. What? Hold on. Please, the young guy, you can get into the You're fabulous. Mm -hmm. Listen. The nigga that managed you at the Fat Boys before? Oh, That's word. The said. Fat Boys. That's what he just said. How did this the turn Fat into? Boys were signed This is my Fendi. question, Nori. I like, I like the Fat Boys were signed to Fendi. This whole what was question? the Fat Boys' original name before they turned into the Fat Boys? Ask Jada. That's go, a little bit over me. I Disco wish I, 3. This, ooh, nah, damn. I'm supposed to know that, Steve. You right. Nori, back to you. No, it's Ooh, never back it's to like me. We're back and forth. I, back Listen, to you. I just want to tell y'all something. I love you. Don't ever try to control my environment. Okay, well, it's good. All right. Ooh. All right. Listen. We all, we all mic'd up. Don't ever. Listen, my thing. environment is controlled. Whether you think it is or it is or not. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen, you went from Nicki Minaj to Little Kim. To and we're going to get back to you later. But that's okay because you know what it is. It's all about, um, what is it called again? Friday on Elm Street. Wow. You got it. You got Friday on Elm Street. We relaxed. We had fun. Fab, yo, I 100% enjoyed you coming here. Damn. And I want you to. We, no, no, no. We ain't closing. No. I got another topic. Oh, you got another topic. I'm in. I just, I just, I had to take a piss. Hold on, let me get a drink. Because I can't let you, I can't let you, I can't let this go. Let's go. Can't let this go. I'm in. This is light topic. It's nothing crazy. I, I'm in. Light topic. I'm in. No, nah, you, you can pull me up. You can pull me up. I'm in. Right. Oh, we finished. And this. I'm doing a shot with Fab. We finished. Fab's, no, no, no. Fab Before we get forward. out of here, because we got to get out and of here. We, we got to take it. We yeah. got to touch his Dominicanism. Yeah, I'm Drake champ to Philly. No, get me. Can't Yo, let me tell you something. Listen, Lee. Niggas thought. He thought I was asleep. I came Yo, woke listen. up with a mean second. Listen, time out. People win, think. <laughs> when people hear this episode. I'm about to start dozing off. No, 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 no. When people hear this episode, they're going to think Pup Daddy was the host. But that is a lie. It is Jada Kiss that was the host tonight. I was in fact, drunk. Mm -hmm. Us in the Latino I did community. Mm -hmm. We 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 need you to say when a person say, "What are you?" Fabulous? No, but hold on. In my brother's defense, before you, because I got a ballot. I'm, I'm got Mills a Lane. I'm the Black Mills I Lane. I definitely don't know where you're going. Cause he didn't know. He yeah. might not know this that you're about to tell him. Okay. Your pops is Dominican, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, we represent uptown. You be in vodka. You get a lot of bags uptown. You get a lot of love uptown. Mm -hmm. It's like a curse. No matter how it played out, you can't say that your pops is Dominican because mm -hmm. it's like you're taking the shotgun to the Dominican. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They rather you just say I'm Dominican <laughs> or don't say nothing. Cause when you just say my pops is Dominican, it's like you push the Dominicans yeah, push, off the ledge. You, push, you, you didn't push you. God, God, I don't know if your father's alive or whatever, but if you say like if I say my father's Puerto Rican, if it, it fucks people up that's Puerto Rican, they want me to say. I'm Puerto Rican, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's something I always wanted to give you because it doesn't matter, whatever, whatever. It is another few hundred million over there on the Dominican side you. that you, you Yo, miss. Yo, motherfucker, this thing grow up Dominican though. No, so I don't grow up Puerto Rican. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I made a Spanish album, Dad. I, I literally made a Spanish album. I just stood there the whole day. The fuck, help me teach me that part. <laughs> that part, I don't give a fuck, nigga. They, everybody laughing at me in hip hop. I'm over there like that. Uh huh. Nobody stabbed nobody today. It's fantastic. Cause you know, I'm sorry. I came from 
the bad era of hip hop. Every party, somebody gets stabbed, shot. You, you don't understand how happy I was. You don't understand. I was in, I'm, niggas laughing at me though. I'm in doing reggaeton. Niggas like, oh. So, one but, by a moment. No, 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 I'm not. That was local. But, <laughs> but fab, on behalf of all Dominican people, I'm not Dominican, I'm Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. But y'all like our like cousins, mm -hmm. on behalf of all Dominican people. If, you have to start saying you Dominican. Cause you know why? Because you are Dominican, right? I'm Puerto Rican. I don't speak shit. I don't speak none of that. When you say that, you're going to have so many knives around you. And you're good. Wherever you at, you just got to claim them. See, that's, that was the problem. Like, people didn't think you claimed them. You put it, you, you, you did a video, remember? See, you put you just the, gave them knowledge, though. No, no, so you can't speak it. He might get speak it. I can't speak this shit. No, but he didn't know. Nah, I knew Fat can't speak it. He didn't know he could get the pass without all of the resources. Huh? No. <laughs> he know that, maybe. He, maybe he did, maybe he did. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Fabs, you need some Spanish. Fendi's Dominican. Fendi is not. <laughs> <laughs> Fendi been hot. Ever since you sub uh, sub zero, that's it. I, yeah, Yo. number changed on me. Niggas Yo. start managing Fab and Yo. Jada. Sub zero start yeah. working out. Oh, I'm the, I'm said, the, I, is the word on the street? He want a rematch. Nah, stop. Stop it. All right. <laughs> sub zero going. I feel like I set myself up for this. So <laughs> I feel like I should have just stayed over there. Mm. It's all your fault, man. Mm. Sometimes you we gotta around just, money. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just stay in your lane. Yeah, man. I should, yeah. Yeah, level out. It's about leveling up, sometimes it's about leveling out. This is my lane. This is lane. my lane. It's a light lane. I'm just saving my time. Who you say he used to manage at first? Fendi? Kubo yeah. did. No, I'm gonna What's leave all you all the alone, niggas man. he had? Mm, he said mm. Big Daddy Kane. Rec FS. So, so, now, how was you, Clue, Skane, you know, Where Web, Skane me? at? With the, like, like, like that relationship right yeah. now for y'all, hmm? like because I know I am up top or so yeah, and, and because I know I know what happens in the beginning sometimes don't happen at the end. Yeah, I'm still cool with all of them. Still cool. Right? Game dollar holler. But I've got a lot of loyalty, man. I respect that. I'm still. You know cool. what I mean? I, I don't. That. I don't. I don't break my circle of friendship unless you my give friend the scissors. Do something to, yeah. To, mm -hmm. to, to break the circle. Other than that, we we be friends forever. Right. You know what I'm saying I have a loyal friendship to people that I'm friends with. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. Let's clap for that, y'all, please. We always yeah. wanted to say that. Yeah, you got one that. off. <laughs> Is there anything you regret like doing in this game? Like, um, not really. I wish I I wish I valued the time because even how long we've been here this long like I, I didn't value the time I kind of was just moving at your own pace even like when you know like when artists get into little things and they just like I'm the shit and I just do mm. what I, you know what I mean mm. they don't value the time or the sometimes the, the space that they that you the that you the guy in that era mm. like you gotta value that shit because yeah. it's Some it's gonna be shit. somebody else times you know Some what I mean <laughs> Some deep shit, guy. Keep talking, please. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I just, please, I'm sorry. I just wish that I, you know, and I would even everybody like they should value their time. When you your time, you gotta value that shit because it's, right. it's really precious. And then you can have another time when you when you value the time, but it's the first time that you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning when it was the first like time first that everybody was looking at. Yeah. But then you you have you only you knew time. once. You only the you only the you only knew once. You said that yesterday. We was talking about that. Niggas don't value can you, that. Can you he touched say on that. that. Nori touched on that yesterday. I said how you want to be the hot. New you only nigga get that once. hot. You only that hot new nigga once. Once. You could be the hot nigga forever, mm -hmm. but you gonna be the hot new nigga. The nigga just said the same, same exact, exact shit. Said the same. In, exact in a different way. Yeah. Same thing, different way. I know y'all gonna wrap it up. You gotta relax. All right. Let's, let's, we gotta wrap it up. Yes. I feel like I gotta say one more thing. I got notes and shit. I, don't, I never use none of them. Hit one. Nah, fuck the notes. Let me, let me I like hit. the organic 
Yeah, I like the. All right, let me let me let me hit a note and get it organic. It's nothing. It's nothing I like. That's why I didn't use it. It's nothing I didn't like. And look at this. Keep keep filming it. Look at everybody. All right. Um, we use the. Um, some of Fab's favorite guest features. That's trash. That was good. There you go, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I respect. But yo, did I make a movie? They don't make a movie. Yeah. Theo made a movie. I made a movie. I said, listen, you been on here too long. You brought two moguls out. Brought two moguls out. I got to take the a these too. I'm gonna take it. We did it. We gotta do the drop and the. Yeah, do the. This is what we doing to wrap it up. It's wrapping it up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We wrapped it up. Yeah. Oh, this is what we're doing to wrap it up. We're wrapping it up.